All right. Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct has been out for six hours now. It's 12.18. I woke up at 6 a.m., watched the Direct, had to be super quiet, but super hyped. And now that I'm finally awake, I get to analyze this piece by piece and break down the entire 27 minutes of footage that we have and theory craft and come to my own speculations. Just a precursor to all this, I've only ever played the original Animal Crossing and then Animal Crossing City Folk, so I do not know if some of these features that I'm getting super hyped about have already been in games or if they are new features. Regardless, I'm still losing my mind over all of this footage, so let's get started. First things first, those clouds. I'm just kidding. I told you every single frame, but let's go. Um... So what you're going to see here, you know, they did this pre-game render, not actual gameplay footage, so we don't need to worry about this. So let's go ahead and skip through here because this is nothing new that we need to worry about, okay? This is not gameplay footage. We start off here on a picture of the island, okay? We already know about the beach, we already know about the coconut trees, but coming from a person that has played the original Animal Crossing, coconut trees being already on the island is amazing because I've spent so long taking coconuts from uh, Tortimer's Island and, or I think it's Tortimer's Island, but the one captain takes you to, bringing them back to my island and then planting them into the grass because there's not really a lot of beach in the original one. But now that there is an actual beach, that's amazing. You know, um, again, I think in New Leaf, there was a beach. Forgive me, but still, it's the fact that I'm super hyped that coconuts are here. Right here, there is a coconut in front of the tree. Um, normally when you shake coconut trees they dropped the sides so i'm guessing that someone just dropped one here just to make it look pretty or they actually will randomly drop as well as like fruit on trees and they'll be randomly on the ground i don't know maybe i'm just diving way too far into that also in the background you can see a giant beetle um which is actually really cool that you can see them from so far away deserted island getaway package all right right here here is something that's very very interesting Orange flowers, orange flowers, red flowers, red flowers, white on white, and then white with red. Does that mean that pollinization of flowers from city folk is back in the game? Or is it just that there are different types of flowers that will be in the game as well? Because right now it's looking like there's four different types of flowers that we see in this frame. We'll go on to see more flowers later. But again, I'm just trying to figure out, will we see more flowers that you can put next to each other and they will start like, you know, cross pollinization? Because if you have a watering can to do that, and this game is all about customization and crafting, then who's to say that there won't be? Like you pick some of the flowers, water them again, and then since it was a white one and a red one, you'll now get this one. I don't know, but let's continue. Also, there is a butterfly flying around. Very beautiful. I love that the um, butterflies and the bugs and fish and everything are super detailed now because it just is the little little thing that makes this game look way prettier. Like the spruce trees look great, the regular trees look great. This is one trip that we here at Nook Inc. can recommend. Also, one more butterfly in the background, but again, like, and then here is a pond. The pond looks very interesting. It's just a unique shape. I like it. Recommend with confidence. Here, we are seeing that there are shadows of butterflies on the uh, water. Um, shadows are very dynamic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. There is also fish as well as um, something that looks like it's in the water here. It could be an insect or something as well as a giant beetle. But I'm guessing that that means now that um, stuff that are in the water uh, are not limited to just one per acre. At least that was in the original um, Animal Crossing. There was just one fish per acre. Um, but who knows? Also here you do see pink flowers, white flowers, yellow flowers. So are they season specific flowers or are they gonna be year round flowers? I do not know, who knows? Cause so far we've seen now, this is seven different types of flowers. Your destination is a peaceful island. There's also a, a tent over here, but let's keep going. Also the weeds look great. I'm glad that weeds are now like, instead of just like that little sprout, it's like they're their own thing that you have to clean up. So there's gonna to be tons of weeds on this island and it's gonna be so awesome to go through every day and be like, there are so many weeds! And you just have to pick like hundreds of them. It's gonna be awesome. Where it's the little things that can All right, um, again, I think we've seen this shot before. Well, similar shot where they're you know, chopping at the trees, but something that we can look at is the person's outfit. 
we are looking at a very detailed set of clothes now. You have a shirt, you have shorts, you have socks, and you have shoes. Amazing. I mean, we'll get into the customization aspect later in the video, so let's go ahead and wait for that. However, in the over here, you do see there are um, more flowers that are drifting in the wind, and let's continue. Count. Also, something here, you chop this, and then wood will come down, and later you do see that they can cut down trees. I'm so glad you can cut down trees still instead of just picking them up and dropping them off. So they do still have that uh, in there in case you, I guess, are a purist like myself where you would just not want to pick up a tree and then drop it. You want to actually chop it down, pick up the stump, and then, you know, etc. Okay, here we go. Some new and improved amazing stuff. First things first, there's a little sign here which I'm guessing you know, from the, the crafting area, you can go ahead and actually put down and craft yourself to, you know, make look like you're, you know, directing people to where houses are, etc., which is awesome. Big sweeping motions of a watering can. Um, again, I don't know if that was in New Horizons or anything I know, or in New Leaf. I know that it was in City Folk. Um, now there is also one, two uh, different types of flowers here, three, four, five different types of flowers here, six, seven types of flowers here. So there are seven more in addition to the other seven we had. Again, will there be pollinization or is it just that these are going to be, you know, you buy red tulips and yellow tulips and you put them there and then boom, red and yellow. Or when you pluck these, will these now see that they're next to red and yellow and then make orange tulips? I don't know, but it would be pretty cool. However, big however here. If there is pollinization, I know that people would be really upset about that because uh, let's say you do this whole theme here where it's I want red and yellow and red and yellow and red and yellow and then all of a sudden you pop up orange. You're like, I don't want that. But then again, there could be an in-depth thing. We don't know. We'll figure that out. Bunny is sitting here with a uh, <laughs> a popsicle, which is just adorable. Like, look at, look at that little face. Like, that is so cute. Just sitting there legs straight out since they don't have knees and i uh, by the way i'm so glad they did not take that away i'm so glad that we still have animals that just have like stick legs and they're just like doot, 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 doot. because when they sit like they have to sit with their whole legs like straight out and it just looks so adorable but now villagers can eat items or at least hold them in their hands you know but that's still it's just an added sense of these villagers are actually villagers and not just bots that are walking around the island just like staring at you and then every so often we'll run into each other and talk and then walk away but now they actually feel like they have a life to them like bunny is sitting here watching a butterfly while holding a popsicle adorable plus there are log piles so I don't know if when you chop some of the logs, you can then combine them together to make a furniture log pile or if it's a crafting thing. I think it's in the crafting menu, but again, we'll we'll break down the crafting menu later. Um, and a cool little swing that you can put here. Just the fact you can put furniture outside is awesome. I and mean, we can go so in depth with that, but it just makes the game so much better. Like neighbors. And then again, huge sweeping motion. So you can go ahead and water a bunch of flowers at once is awesome just purely purely awesome oh my god and then hold on let's go back look at what bunny just did now we're gonna focus on bunny real quick watching that neighbors and then she took a bite of it she took a bite of it so they do actually eat them or at least if it's you know an item it'll look like they're eating but still it's the fact that she's eating a popsicle like that is so cute okay now we also see more tulips here um we are seeing a the leaf umbrella which is always awesome and look at this we do have a giant log table as well as small chair and a big long chair or sofa if you will as well as log um fencing again we'll see more of that in crafting but it's just the fact that like there's so many options for things that you can like build immediately and put out there because obviously we're going to see later on um more crafting and more like modernized island but like in the very beginning it looks like if you get some wood and you don't have the ability to make houses like this is a very primitive way of like fencing off an area of putting like a picnic area like it looks really awesome plus look how in like look how beautiful those apples are up close and the like the water on the leaves like seasons are going to look so good the, the rain is going to look good. Snow is going to look good. The windiness, the sunsets, like 
And then also the light from inside the, the tent kind of glows out. Like, it looks really awesome. Design the detail they put home. in it. Oh, and it just looks like the, uh, I don't know this villager, but looks like just sitting there enjoying the rain. Like, I don't know if that's a rain specific thing or maybe if it, the wind blows, like they have a trigger in their code where they're just like, ah, like, let's enjoy this. But it just looks really adorable. <laughs> and simply enjoying life. The biggest hype thing right here, Bob! Bob is in the game! I've been waiting so long to see if Bob was in the game. Bob has been my favorite villager since day one when I moved into my Animal Crossing town. He was the very first villager that, well not very first, but he was in my town. And um, I ran into him and he became my favorite villager. And I was just so excited to have him. And I was like, yeah, Bob, like... He was just like this chill cat and he's purple and he just looked really awesome. And um, now when I started my new um, Animal Crossing game on my emulator on my PC just to kill the time while New Horizons is coming, Bob was my first villager in that town too. Like what is the, what are the odds? And now he's finally in the game. We finally get to see him in game and he's fishing. Like he is, he's fishing. Like that is awesome. However, one thing I do notice, there is no bobber for villagers. So are they just throwing the rod here and it just looks like they're fishing? Just to add that like, you know, pizzazz of them doing stuff? And will they go ahead and actually walk over to an area and start to fish? Or is it just they're going to go ahead and like, you know, be standing there and then you talk to them and then they put it away? Will they bring out items to go ahead and do that? Like... Is it hardwired into their code that if they walk and they get near a river, will they pull out a fishing rod and then cast it? Or will they just go ahead and actually like, you know, be or walking around with the fishing rod and then, you know, do whatever? I don't know. And we're going to have to find out. But Bob is in it and that is awesome. I love it. Um, here you can see the flimsy um, fishing rod which is a pretty much just a stick with some like cloth around it. And then, you know, there's your bobber. Um, here you do get to see that there is a hat. Oh yeah, snap. There is an area right here. She has one flower in her hair. So not only for garlands where you have to make a bunch of flowers into like a wreath or whatever, you can go ahead and just put one flower in your hair, which is awesome. Like with neighbors. So that's really cool. Plus dresses, like I don't know, again, I don't know if that's in the game already, but dresses are awesome. Sandals and like hairstyles, plus the new eyes it looks like. Design. You get, this has been one thing, I'm, I'm, I know I'm jumping around a bit now, but I, I keep forgetting about the clothes and everything. Hairstyles, awesome. Galoshes and a rain slicker? What? Like, Again, coming from my experience, I was playing the original Animal Crossing. Every time it would rain, I'd be like, I want to dress up in like rain gear. When it would snow, I want to be in like a, a, a snow jacket with like a, a, a beanie on, you know? And you're never able to do that. Now it's like, you can be in a rain slicker and boots for when it's raining. Like that is awesome. So now when I make my house, I'll always have like my raincoat hung up on the wall and like some boots right next to it. Like that is really awesome. Cleaning your home. And, simply enjoying and again, like you get these cool hats and stuff. So when it's like, you know, summer or spring, you can go in and put your hat on. Like that's just really cool. Oh, this looks like he's wearing overalls and some boots. Um, but again, it looks like Bob just kind of chilling there. Again, no bobber. <laughs> Bob bobber. All right. So now what we've got is a similar um, a similar screenshot. Well, it's gameplay from uh, some gameplay we had earlier, you know, where the girl comes out, puts a bunch of flowers down, picks up a tree, puts it in the middle here, and then waters it and everything. We are seeing that you can, I guess, display your um, shovel, it looks like. So I'm guessing instead of dropping it, which will probably just lay, or actually, if you drop it, instead of laying sideways on the ground like it normally would, maybe it's now standing up. So that would be really awesome. There are now these buckets, which I keep seeing everywhere, but we don't know the purpose of them yet. Are they just for storage or are they just something that you can put down on the ground that looks nice? I don't know. And leaf piles. They were mentioning later in the gameplay that when it gets to be fall, and I'm guessing this is this is looks like maybe spring or summer, you can probably start raking leaves. Like that would be really awesome as just like an activity and also probably a way to, as you can see, there's like progressively less 
weeds around. So maybe you can sweep up the leaves or the weeds into a pile and it makes it easier to go ahead and pick them up or something. But that's still just a really cool feature that you can actually like get leaves and, you know, sweep them all up and everything. So it's really, really cool. Um, let's continue. Since we're nearing departure, Again, uh, whoa, 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 hold on. There's some like shininess here. Since we're nearing departure, it's high time. See, like that makes me think that there might be, there is right Since we're nearing there, there's like a little glint. So it makes me think, is it just that it's showing that they're watered or is it that like, that's the idea that it, they're pollinizing and then it's like, oh, the flowers are going to make new flowers. I don't know, but we'll find out. It's high. And just really cute. Again, here's now two more flowers. So now we're up to, I think, 16 I've seen so far. 16 different ty like types and colors. But like there's a yellow with black and then a white with purple. Like that's really cool. Plus these rocky areas, I don't know what these what the significance of these are going to be, but it's just cool to break up the um, area. And it's not just grass and beach. It's like grass, beach, and oh, there's rocky areas. Like that's kind of cool. Um, and then that like looks really cool. This looks like maybe it's a uh, coelacanth, um, one of those, the you know, the gigantic fish. Or again, later on, you see a guy holding a giant fish. It could just be a tuna. Time we detail the many features and perks included in the hey, or it could just be a sea bass. Away package. And also small detail here. Look at that. The waves crashing on the shore. Like that is really awesome. Really cool. Deep dive. Deep dive. Okay. The boat here, the, sorry, the, uh, what is this called again? It's like an airplane boat, boat plane, plane boat. I don't know, but looks really detailed. Looks awesome. It's really cool that they actually have one sitting here. Um, it'd be cool if we get to see it land, kind of like how in the original you get to see the train pulling up like every 15 minutes or whatever it was. Maybe cool if you can see it take off and leave. Local airport, you'll be met with a deserted island. This is really cool that um, this is a, this we can change. I know that because it shows later on, but um, that'd be really cool when people come to your island, they could see that and they're like, oh wow, new thing. But like just a full building dedicated to travel now instead of like a train station or like a little platform to get on a bus, like whole building, awesome. Um, here we have a, like a, uh, I think it's like a pond skimmer or whatever. I forget the name of it, but it's the little guy that like, you know, skims around on the top of the surface. Um, we do see again, here are now two more flowers. You know, these ones are all, they're like ones with petals and stuff. So there are a lot of flowers in this game, like, which is really exciting for me because I love flowers in Animal Crossing. Like every time I go to Tom Nooks, every morning I wake up, run to Tom Nooks, buy all the flowers and I just plant them everywhere. So like my entire, like in the, again, the original, um, the entire fence where the train station is, flowers are just along the entire side. Cause I know that when you would, you know, come into the train station at someone else's town, it does follow the train a little bit. So you get to see like the flowers and I loved that about it. So Definitely gonna be planting flowers everywhere. Waterfalls are great too, like that's really cool. Plus look at that giant fish there. He's a lot fatter than normal. That's a big fish for that. All right, I know that again, this looks like it's a, um, this looks like a pre-rendered thing. So this I don't think is gameplay, but this is probably going to be right when you start the game, you're gonna go ahead and see this screen and they're gonna t tell you like, what would you like to do? And this will be kind of like the rover of um, getting you know your thing because this doesn't look like the inside of the actual Dodo Airlines. This looks like you're somewhere else and this is like the opening screen and the, this is where you choose everything. Also, there is a map on the wall here I, you see the map again inside of the Dodo Airlines and it's the exact same. So I don't know if this is going to be custom to your actual island or if this is just a map that they have. For the getaway package, you can choose the island you wish this is awesome. This is a great feature because you get to go ahead and pre-check out what your island will look like just offhand. And if I'm not mistaken, and this is again theory crafting, I'm guessing these are going to be four randomly generated islands. Because if this was the case of, I know that you could terraform now, but if it's the case where you can just have one, two, three, four, and that's it, then a lot of people's islands are going to look identical. And I don't like that. 
However, we have seen on other um, Animal Crossing uh, directs and videos and trailers that they, they there are ones that go up like this and then straight. So I'm like I said, I'm going to make a guess that each one is going to be randomly generated, but there will be four of them to choose from, which is awesome because you get to see where Dodo Airlines is. You have a dock, which what will that be for? Will Captain come up and like, you know, maybe chill on your island and stuff and come over and hang out? Um, Because now that Dodo Airlines there, like you don't need him, but why would there be a one random dock? I don't know, but who knows? Um, You get to see where the resident station is and then like all the ponds and everything, the different types of grass, like which is really nice. This looks like a cool little area here. What, they, and there seems to be one per each uh, island. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and then you get to see where the lakes are, the rivers, the ponds. Uh, so it's really nice. It's a really cool feature that you get to actually choose your island and see it beforehand. So you kind of, at least with me, you mentally get that image of like, oh, okay, okay. So we're going to put like the Able Sisters over here. We're going to put the museum over here. And so it's like, you're kind of already like, all right, let's think about this. Or do you want to put like a bunch of people here, like on a peninsula and then surround it with facilities or put all the facilities right here or up here? Like, again, possibilities are endless. I love it. Range of options. And then, of course, once you click it, it'll bring up a bigger uh, portion of it so you get to see it better, which is nice. Would you like to live in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere? This is awesome for the gamers that are going to be playing in, like, South America, for instance, where Animal Crossing, I think, was only dedicated to North American support, I think. I'm not positive on this, but it seemed like in January you would have like the snowy season up until February and then it would become spring. And that's not the case for Southern Hemisphere. So it is awesome that they are adding that in there for people um, just in case that's your preference. Don't worry. No matter and like this is again really cool that they're just showing off like right here, boom, there are diggable fossils, which I know that we've seen in previous videos. But it's just really cool to see it like in, you know, in game again and just see it right there. You choose, you'll experience all the winter, like this is actually very interesting because in the other winters we've seen, there are um, greenery and then the snow on top. And in the original Animal Crossing, the leaves were brown and then there was snow on top. So it's kind of interesting to see that it's white on white. I don't know. That could just be for this video or that could be like right after it snows or this is like the dead of winter in like December and then like the one that we see later on where it's green with the snow is like when it's thawing out like you see in the original Animal Crossing. That the four seasons have to and there was snowflakes. I saw a snowflake just kind of dancing around there. Choose. You'll experience right there. All like that the is cool. That Oh, because you can catch them. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, so that's really cool that you'll have a chance to do that. Have to offer right um, from your what are we looking at? Cherry blossoms were in there, so but they'll show that later. Um, sticks on the ground. So again, I, are sticks just randomly going to be on the ground? I, I think they are because we've seen it in previous footage. Weeds are still in yep. there. Again, now here there's purple uh, tulips. Actually, I think I saw that before because there was purple and white. So never mind. Let's keep going. Look at all these weeds. These are like really overgrown, it looks like. So it looks like there will be possibly weed progression unless this is season specific um there is some butterflies here that you see coming around so that's really nice that your island is actually going to be really like tropical it's going to be very nice to like live on it and then you see like butterflies and all these insects all around instead of you know just randomly being like oh there's one butterfly that i finally get to see departure date so that's really cool for march 20th that looks like a common butterfly and that looks like the uh oh i forget the name of it is monarch i think more flowers. That's when the Northern Hemisphere will just be one. All right. Here we have backpacks and again, another set of everything on this guy. So let's break it down. New hairstyle with shaved sides, since that's a popular hairstyle, I guess, where people have like the shaved sides in the back of their head and then it's all longer on top. So that's going to be in the game. Awesome. Backpacks, which do you get to wear a backpack as just a fashion statement or will it add more inventory space? I don't know. There are now like jackets or like uh, uh, button ups now, which is awesome. Um, this footage was captured in the Northern Hemisphere, no big deal. But um, again, like here's here's a nice like uh, button down shirt with some jeans and you know it looks like some uh, what are those Skechers Converse I think. 
So it's like, it's just interesting that you can now like customize your style like that much. So it's going to be really cool and interesting to see other players where they're going to be not anything looking like you. That was a weird sentence. They're not going to look anything like you. That's what I meant to say. Warming up for spring. Here, we've got a coffee cup on a table, which is awesome, as well as, again, these log sets that are in the game. Um, that's just really an interesting thing that they have where you can, like, customize these. You can chop things up and then see these giant log structures that aren't just, like, a blue table, a green table, the classic series, the regal. Like, these are things that you can customize yourself, like, custom build these from a bunch of wood. And then, again, hammocks and everything, so that's really cool. Again, the detail in the apples, like when you're up close to them, is awesome. Have to wait long for the giant fish. Another giant fish. Like, these are some big fish they're adding into the game. Again, I don't know if they've been in the recent installments, but, like, that's really cool. Cherry blossoms, really sweet. Um, looks like, you know, cherry blossoms are going to be, you know, sprinkling their little petals and stuff all over, which is cool. Plus, in the water, which is always nice to see. Cherry blossoms to be in full bloom. Yeah. Okay, here's some more footage here. So now we've got this like another like set which looks like they look identical. So it's probably going to be the same exact thing, but it's just rotated to look like there's more food. There are cherry blossom um, piles, so you will get to sweep them up into piles, which is awesome. But what are you going to do with them? Do you just sell them or can you turn them into something else? Always awesome to think about. And look at the detail on them. You could actually see like little teeny like petals and stuff in there. Like that's really, really or not petals, whatever the inside there lanterns there are going to be placeable lights that you can put outside to make like these cool little hangout spots as well as it looks like she's eating a sandwich like that's really cool sitting by the water again like oh which i'm guessing is just sitting by a tree but it's by the water so it's kind of like you know it looks like they're off looking in, out there but still like it's just really cool to see this many animals and a villager in the same area like hanging out and having a good time and I'm guessing when the player emotes, because there is an emote wheel, as we've seen in the original direct that, um, not Sakurai, but whoever it was, you know, he opened it up and he was able to laugh or like, you know, show off a fish or whatever. And I'm guessing when you laugh, the closest, you know, villager to you will laugh as well. So it's just cool for photos. And in the very back, it looks like, again, we have our shovel kind of standing up there. So it looks like, again, if you drop, I'm guessing that's how it is now. When you drop the shovel, it'll just kind of stand in the ground which is really cool because then it looks a lot better than just dropping on the ground. Um, nothing new here. Uh, you know, you're the player's tent. Again, more, there's still more flowers here, red, white, and yellow. Um, the, the cicadas, cicadas, I think that's called, but they're like really super loud and really super detailed. Like, look at that. Like that is super detailed. That's awesome. And a praying mantis, a little wonky that from this angle, you can see it like hovering over like the flowers, but it's supposed to be walking on the flowers. Still, it's the fact of the matter. It's just, there's praying mantis in there. I don't know who that is, but it looks like he's holding a soda, which is awesome. Plus there's rainbows. You'll see a wealth of lush and look at that detail. The detail is amazing. Greenery, not to mention a veritable and again, another fashion thing, different hair. Because now they're shaved sides, but now his hair's not up in like the spikiness. It's just kind of a round thing. And then he's got like a different shirt, which is short sleeved, shorts, and then shoes with socks. Um, he's using a flimsy net, which is cool. And then there's a grasshopper nearby as well as a big fish. Treasure trove of See, now his hair's kind of different there. Bugs, native to the island. Or is that a beret? <laughs> I don't know. Like that looks like it could be hair, but it could also be a braid. But that's weird hair if that's his hair because it's like perfectly flat and straight. Um, regardless, still cool. Come on. Now we're seeing different, again, different types of weeds like in the fall. So it looks like these are going to be season specific weeds. Um, mushrooms are growing now, which is really cool to go ahead and, you know, have mushrooming season where you can always sell them to Tom Nook. Uh, can you craft with them? I'm guessing so because of the mushroom uh, benches and stuff that we're going to see later on. And also like these little blue flowers in here, which is just a cool little touch they've added to the weeds so that weeds are different now instead of just little sprouts the color, of the leaves on the tree. color of the leaves changing is going to be really sweet too because i know it's not going to be that fast but it'll be cool to like log in 
you know, August 2nd and then August 3rd and they're like all darker and then August 4th, they'll be super dark. Like it's really cool. Plus again, you'll be able to sweep up leaves. Change. And so pile of leaves here, um, more log piles here, a little campfire, which is really unsafe if you don't have rocks around it. But there is a log here with mushrooms on it. Is that something you can craft or is that going to be like a log in game that will have mushrooms on it? I'm guessing you can craft that. You know, and that's probably going to be like an a uh, fall specific uh, craftable. Two with the activities available. To and then she's got this little like purse um, uh, 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 satchel thing, which is cool. Again, for I don't know if it's going to add storage, if it's just for looks. And again, different overalls with a green shirt and some boots. We'll get into the hall, the character customization later. A little rock bench here, and then there are like hay bales that you can lay on. You from collecting seeds and mushrooms. Again, another one of these things, collecting mushrooms, collecting seeds, they said. I don't know what that's all about, but that's really cool. A scarecrow, so that's pretty sweet. To gathering autumn leaves. Again, autumn leaves. Um, it looks like these are gonna be the flowers for autumn, I guess. Like the because uh, again, I think they're just they're not season specific, so I could be wrong about that. Um, giant fish. These fish are huge, and I don't know if it's just to, they put it in the game to make it look like that because I haven't seen a small fish yet or maybe I have and I'm just stupid and I've forgotten about it and in win winter uh, again we're seeing like the really white leaves which is very interesting um, that would crush that tent unless it's got a lot like that because snow gets heavy the island transforms into a here here's the spruce trees looking green with the the snow on top which is always awesome and this looks like it's blizzarding so that's kind of cool and then here's the white ones um <laughs> this dude is working out there's a monkey villager finally which i know that you know before there again the original animal crossing there was never monkey villagers there was only um well, sorry, there was no chimpanzee villagers. There were gorilla villagers, but this guy has a donut and he looks like one of the dudes from the train station. And then this dude's working out and you're building a, this again, winter outfits. Like, yes, thank you. Cause now whenever it rolls around to like January, February, December, I will be able to put on a snow hat and a coat and everything so I can actually get into the spirit of the holidays and be like, oh man, it's it's snowing out. I should probably bundle up. Like that is amazing. And it's just the small things that make me so happy. But again, like you got like, they're working out, like he's eating a donut. And here comes the, here comes the, oh, oh, and look, just did a little, did a little curl and then, you know, had some strain there. Oh man, it's, it's straining. Ugh. But you drop off your snowman. He will be in the game still, which is awesome. And he will probably give you snowman furniture. Um, this looks like it might be the proper proportion to make the snowman. So you're going to have to have a bigger body now with a smaller head. And the night sky. Aurora Borealis. Again, don't know if that was in the game. But it looks like you can set leaf piles on fire now. So I'm guessing that's how you get rid of them is you put them into a pile and then set them on fire, I guess. But it's like, that's one thing I didn't notice the first time around, but now I'm noticing it. And I'm like, that's kind of interesting. Um, you can now put things on these rocks, which I think we've seen before, but it's kind of cool just to confirm it. Like, oh, there we go. A star backpack. So that's really cool. Again, little booties and a snow hat. Um, again, just the whole winter attire is just awesome. That looks like it's Puck, I think, but he's not wearing his BB shirt. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can burn leaves. This time of year. Um, in here, we've got, again, some more flowers. We're seeing, you know, these three here. We're seeing orange, white, yellow, orange, white, red, sorry. Um, yeah, just some cool things going on. See. Picking up flowers is really nice as a feature that you can just pick the flowers off there instead of picking up the entire thing, which is awesome. Some uh, some jungle juice here. I don't know what that's really called, but like you just put a bunch of fruit in there and then you put alcohol in and there's that. I don't think there's going to be alcohol in the game, but it's kind of cool that they just have like this like fruit juice that you can make as well as I'm going to make a guess that once you get enough fruit, you can make this fruit basket because it does show that it has a pear, a cherry, an orange, a uh, uh, um, oh my God, 
a peach and an apple. So those are all five of the original fruits. So I will there be bananas? I don't think so, but we do see bamboo as well later, but I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. Um, but that's cool that I'm guessing once you have one of everything, you can craft that and that'll be a, a thing that you can drop off. There's a little bird house there, which is really cool, little small thing that you can put down. Um, and we're now starting to see the leaves that are going to be falling on the ground. Or these are trees of some sort. Cause like, if you look, these are very close together and we don't know what they are. Cause it looks like there is a little like uh, 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 stem coming out of the ground. And these look like they have grown a little bit. So these are either going to be the early stages of flowers and you have to grow them from seeds. Or these are going to be like a new thing that's growing or these are weeds. Um, but there are more over here and they don't look like weeds normally look like with the weird sprouts and stuff. So I don't know what that is, but it's kind of interesting to think about. Here is something that is huge that... <laughs> You've got this whole like setup here of seashells. So how you build that is beyond me, but that's still like really cool that they have that there. There's a beach ball. Um, I don't know, will you be able to kick it around like before where your villagers were able to kick it back and forth or is it just a stationary item? Um, there are now a, there's a uh, uh, sun, uh, wow. A sun, uh, oh my God, a, Sand dollar, sand dollar table with like a urchin underneath it, as well as shells for sitting on. There is a bed here or not. It's a bed, you know, but like these are reclining chairs with some coconuts. I'm guessing you're going to craft that because I've seen it in the crafting thing. You can put your shoes on the floor, which is just again, a small thing, but so awesome. Because again, if you're going to go ahead and walk around over here in the grass, you're going to want shoes on. You don't know what you might step on, but then you get over here to like relax. You're going to want to take your shoes off. So that's really cool. Again, little small things, sunglasses. So far we've seen so many different types of clothes, which is awesome. A flimsy rod. Villagers will now lay on your like furniture which is cool but again will they like walk over and then jump on it and lay down or are they just laying down on it the entire time i don't know um but again i would love to see them like kind of walk around the island when they get to an interactable um item that they will use it so if they get close to this they'll jump on it and lay down maybe stay there for a little for a little bit and then get up and walk away or will they go ahead and um you know lay down and then walk away uh, or, you know, or are they just sitting there? Also, when you talk to them while they're laying down, will they respond to you or will it just be like Z, 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 like I'm sleeping? I don't know. Plus there's like a lemon or something on the, the bed here. So that's kind of interesting that you can put items on top of your like sitable items, I guess. Along with them. Plus a giant beetle and this giant fish. But the simple joys. Okay. Mushroom craftable seats and tables as well as these gigantic mushroom things that are here as well as these giant mushroom things um villagers that are sitting and reading which we already had you know word on because we've seen it in screenshots as well as footage but like that's just really cute plus the toe beans like look at the little <laughs> look at the little toe beans on the animals it's just so cute um books uh, glasses. I don't know if this, this villager normally has glasses on, but like, that'd be really cool if they put on their own glasses. Um, again, for this dude, he's got a backpack on different hairstyle, a little thing that goes up here. Don't know what that is. A stack of books, villagers that are now sweeping, which is awesome actually. And it does look like they do have knees unless that's just the zebras or horses. Um, let's go back a little bit because there was a small thing here, which is like, there's a bigger close up of these mushrooms. Very interesting. Plus a pile of leaves, like just again, interesting things that we're seeing. Plus there, you're joyful that you're reading the book. What's in that book? Oh, must be Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn or something. Okay. Here's another thing. Bear ice sculptures, which are awesome. Another 
different type of flower here and here. Blue, or am I in the way? Yes, I am. Boom. Blue flower here as well as a purple flower here. Like those are different types of flowers that we're seeing. So that is up to, I think, 16 different types now, you know, if you include. But I get, I don't know, are they season specific? Because there are tulips, but these look like they're only available in winter. I don't know. There are also the decorations on the trees are returning, which is cool. Snowmen are, is that a, the, the, um, villagers build these snowmen and they're just sitting around and they'll say like, oh man, I built this. Or is it like, um, you build it and you put it down and it's only during winter. It looks like there are going to be season specific items. Um, so I'm guessing that's what these updates will be for. Cause they might do like an update and then say like, here's some season specific stuff, some toys, a little mini Christmas tree to put on a thing. Um, some juice bottles, there are popsicles here. Um, a cutting board, you shake the tree and get bulbs. I don't know what that's about. Maybe you can then take that and decorate your own trees or can you use that in crafting? I don't know. Such a great setting for your new life. I love these fences. Plus, again, there's the whole like idea of being able to wear winter clothes. Not long after your this looks like the beginning of the game where after you choose your island, you're going to fly in. Um, maybe talk to Rover and be like, hey, like that would be really sweet if we do get to talk to Rover. Um, you land here and then, you know, that whole thing goes down. But again, where would Rover be? Is he just chilling in there or will we see him randomly in the airline? Or is he not in the game? You do get two animals when you start the game, so that's really cool. So you're going to go ahead and start off here. He talks to everyone. You talk to Timmy. He's going to go ahead and give you your tent, which is cool. You then talk to your other guys. And then these guys will tell you where to put the tent, which is really cool because it's like, you know, they... <laughs> Now you get to say, like, I want my tent here, and then I want you guys right next door to me. So that's really cool. Set up your new home base. Plus, it shows an outline of where your tent's going to be, which is really nice instead of just guessing. And it also shows, like, where you can't plant anything, I'm guessing. That was that uh, front portion here. You can chat with other residents about where... So I'm guessing this is where your house is going to be, your tent, sorry. And this is the maximum it's going to be, so when it expands, it's going to be like that. This right here looks like an area where, um, I'm guessing this is exactly where the building's gonna be. I have the Animal Crossing extension on Chrome, so when the hour hits the hour, you get the town, town uh, tune. I have the music off right now, but it's like, normally it's on. Um, you've got yourself here a, you know, where it's gonna be. And then this I'm guessing is like a non-build area. So like you probably can't build anything in front of your mailbox, in front of your front door, and then over here, cause there's probably gonna be, you know, there's gonna be those flowers and stuff. And it does demolish trees when you place it down. So there's that. And, there's. and then they're gonna, again, they're gonna be like, hey, would you like to go sure in and put my Please tent? Um, all stuff that we've seen before, well. new butterflies it looks like, they're really pretty. You'll agree that cooperation between really awesome. Can be pretty fun. Although the tour of the facilities. Island, you're still getting a package deal. So, the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more Two facilities to start off with. Resident services, which is gonna be the Tom Nook this ability. Um, so it looks like this right here is going to be a a no build zone because so far what we've seen is we've seen this sign with the little bird on top we've seen this area with this and then we've seen the bonfire so i'm guessing this will stay the same and this will also be where you will have um special guests arrive like maybe Katie slider as well as other people um but it looks like this is a it looks like it's going to be a no build zone in the plaza to access residence services which is here to support all of your daily so needs. walking in here you do see that there is the workbench there is going to be a an area here for um you know your recyclables which we'll see later on as well as what looks like where you can see that they are selling because this does change in the background and then there is the nook miles area it's open 24 hours a day providing residents Open 24 hours a day for resident services, which is nice considering when you upgrade it, Tom Nook is going to be in there. So that'll be cool that you can get your different items like this. However, I don't like that it's open 24 hours because one of the coolest things for me was you log on at like 
10 p.m., like 9.55, and you're running to the, get the Tom Nooks because you're like, oh my God, I need to sell all these shells and fruits. And it's closed. And you're like, no, 10 o'clock rolled around. So now you have to wait till the next day to sell all your items. So in a way, it's good because now people that got frustrated by that can sell whenever they want. It's also bad because again, like I love the fact that Animal Crossing is based on real time. So you wake up at 10 in the morning, Tom Nook is open, you get there at 10 at night, it closes. Like it's it's one of those things where you're just like, ah shit, I should really manage my time better. With services such as the it's really cool that you get cedar saplings and um, spruce saplings immediately. I think that was a spruce one. Of unwanted items. Clump of weeds, so I'm guessing you could get multiple weeds. Maybe that's gonna be the same thing because that's a clump of weeds. Maybe you can then put you know your pile of leaves together and I'll say like a pile of leaves, I'll buy that. About living on a deserted island. You've and got um free DIY workshops. You learned how to craft a variety of items. DIY workbench. I'm guessing the DIY workshops are going to be um every so often like updates and everything. He'll probably say like or every few days, like, hey, there's a new, you know, thing that you can create. And you're like, oh, shit. And you have to listen to him. And then he'll go ahead and give you, like, your little recipe card, which we do see First, right there. Just learn the DIY recipe. And maybe there will be, like, amiibos where you can go ahead and get recipes. I don't know. Then Here we are seeing you can make an ocarina. That, so that's really awesome. Like, that's just... I own an ocarina, so it's like, that's really cool that you can make one. Um, little tiki torches, bonfire, craftable workbench. The 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 thing here... Um, whatever that's called. The, the fence. Jeez. And choose what to make. And you can make your own DIY bench. Which... And it's really cool that it shows right here that it's 1.5 out of 1.5. And I'm guessing it shows right here the max size of anything that you drop is going to be 3x3. Three three. But it's really cool that it's 1.5 by 1.5 and not just 1 by 1 or 2 by 2. Like it's really cool that it's they use half blocks. Again, I think that was in uh, New Leaf, but still it's just another detail that I'm just like, oh, yes. And there you have it. It's yep. ready. And it's ready. Um, chopping see, wood. So here's something that I've noticed before. Like, will you still get bells out of rocks or is it only now for materials? I don't know. And also, since this is a flimsy shovel, will that eventually break from hitting that and using it? Who knows? But we do see later on that there is a golden shovel, which we will see, as well as new nets and uh, fishing rods. So we'll see that later on. In the right materials, you can build a plethora of wonder more flowers these are three different types of flowers i think <laughs> so I, I again i could be just forgetting what all the flowers look like but here's one here and then there's three others here things. scarecrow um i don't was this a crafted thing or is that just a like can you craft every item in the game i don't know but it's just interesting to think that unless they cheated this with like an edit and this actually isn't something you can craft because that's made out of metal and I don't know like Even on a deserted island. and that's like a metal with like a wrought iron with wood I don't know but look you can put your little galoshes right there so again that'd be really cool just to put like right next to your door or inside your building so scorpions don't climb inside of it um, but then they are, these I know are going to be craftable because it's like a, a log bench, log chairs, like, and again, here's your shovel. So I, again, I think it's either going to be the option to drop it and it'll fall sideways or show off and it'll like stand up. But regardless, why would you want to do anything other than put it like this? Like that looks awesome. You your life. Even though I feel like it should be stuck into the ground. Like it's just kind of hovering there. So it's a little wonky, but still. All right. A lot of things to go through here. I know that we just saw all this, but again, more pots and stuff. So what? what is this? Can you put stuff in them or is it just, you know, for show? Love that you can put coffee cups on there and it looks like you maybe put multiple things on these tables or you can rotate it so it'll go from here to like here to here and it'll fill up those spaces. Who knows? Again, the bowl of fruit here. Um, Orange flowers now. I don't think I've seen those before. I think it was just yellow and white that I had seen. Plus, what looks like, what is this right here? It's a little sign about, uh, it looks like cats uh, 
doing something. It's in animal language, so I can't tell what it is, but it's like, that's just a cool little feature that they have, like a little animal sign, but it also looks like it's a domesticated cat and all the animals on the islands who are also cats aren't domesticated. I don't know. Um, I love the, love the fences because now you actually have a way to like put your um, flowers at ease so you're not gonna run randomly and run over them. Now they're actually fenced off. Hands. Uh, again, see, we saw now these two items are different. So now there's a golf bag and a uh, putt-putt. Can you play putt-putt or is it just there? I don't know. Maybe it's just you press it and then it just kind of hits it in. That'd be kind of cool. A different hat, different shirts. Everything is different. With DIY crafting. Well then, stop. Um, wood simple bed. Here, this is mind blowing. You can customize your furniture. Oh my God. Every other YouTuber that I've seen doing this, they don't freak out about this as much as I do. Like this is awesome. This makes it like so much better because now you've got these different paint colors. You got different bedding, which they don't even go into. They said that, or sorry. Yes, they do. So my apologies about that. You can do different paint colors out of a different amount of paints, which we'll see in a second, and then different bedding, which has, I'm guessing, four different types, and then a customized one. Or you can just customize the wood color, it looks like, because when you're hovering over light wood, you can customize it. But it will need these things, which looks like um, some type of paint, and you need four of them. Will this be a microtransaction thing, and that's how you're going to get customized furnitures? You have to pay for them? Because it did say that there are microtransactions in the game. Or is it just, you know, a random thing that you will find in the world or crafting materials? Can learn skills like so like light wood, white wood, cherry wood, like dark wood, black, green, awesome. And then it skips these different types of bedding, but it goes straight into the customized one. So then you've got, oh my God, so good. It is pixelized, yes, but it's also like, that is still awesome because at a distance, like look at this, looks pixelized, but then you go in, you see it from a distance and it looks flawless. Like I'm guessing they kind of like, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, smooth it out when it's on something. Um, same thing with this, watch this one. You go to this guy, switches it and whoa, 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 go back, hold your horses, game. Oh, 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 God damn it, whatever. But anyways, oh God, okay, hold on, what am I doing here? Okay. <clears throat> See, like it, up close, it looks really nice. And then you've got a little coffee mug with your design on it. If no one saw this, here's your design on a coffee mug. Like that is awesome. So that is really cool. Here's your design here. And again, it looks like it is a very interesting, like, so this is very pixelated. And then when it's on the shirt or the clothes or whatever, it's very smoothed out and the colors are like blended together. So whatever they did differently, it looks really nice. It makes it look really good. Um, so that's gonna be cool. Again, with the tree all pixelated and then it kind of smooths out. And then the face again, all smooths out. So I don't know what they're doing, but it it really looks nice, the, the designs now. And so instead of it looking pixelated, it's going to look really awesome. So I can't wait to mess with this. Plus the switch is a touch screen. So you're able to actually sit there and, you know, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, which is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really cool. Clovers and the Ivy, again, everything looks awesome. I'm running my voices, I'm losing my voice now. Again, like here's a bunch of flowers put together. Again, are they going to be a set of flowers that will pollinize or not? I don't know. This looks like it's a different customized pattern, which is cool. So it's not just like you put it down and then it's that pattern for everything. It looks like it is now, here's a pattern here and here's a pattern here. Here's again, your pattern on a coffee mug. And then there's one there. So like, that's really awesome. Butterflies, butterflies. Different types of hats, wearing glasses. Um, in this one, we've got, again, more flowers. Again, here's a different, like, w stool that you get to see with your design on it. And then uh, here's your design here on these uh customized benches as well so will it only be on buildable benches that you're going to have your design on because these are buildable and then those are different designs or is it going to be on everything like classical and regal furniture green and blue sets 
I think they're going to keep green and blue sets and everything all the same. And then you're going to have these customized ones for different times. Plus, it looks like this is like a like a, a painter's smock or like a builder's apron with like some boots and stuff with like a little buckle, it looks like. You learn these DIY skills by taking advantage of And then you've got like just an opening. You, you can open that up when you interact with it. And there's like a little pizza. There's your face right there. Another design on a coffee mug as well as um, a ukulele. Oh, workshops. A stack of books again. Airport. We're only six minutes into this video and I've spent 54 minutes talking about it. That's how much stuff there is. Welcome to the airport where you'll first land on the island. It's also available for use year round. Year round, 24 hours a day, day airport, day which is really cool. Beginning the day after your arrival. So I'm guessing that means that the first day they're going to want you to focus on your island and working there and, you know, just kind of doing that. Again, we do see that um, picture again of the other of the island. I think it is just a stationary thing because it does not look like this has changed any uh, bit at all. You're going to talk to Orville here, which is where you're going to go ahead and um, use local play or online. So that'll be, I guess, if you're in the same area as someone, you can have them come to your island or you can invite them from online. Again, really cool. And then this will, I guess, when they accept, it'll go through like, here's them arriving, which is kind of cool. Now we leave, and then coming in, you're gonna be up to eight other players on the island, which is awesome, but here's like a shell like thing. There's a coffee thing, which kind of makes you think that Brew Brewster's gonna be in it. Who knows? Um, little signs again. You're gonna have um, these guys just running around. There is a, a refined net or a normal net, if you will. Backpacks, hats. Um, different types of shirts. Uh, here's another workbench. It looks like that's a workbench and this is a workbench. So you're going to have an upgrade to your workbench. Um, there are some items on this table, just cool little things. He's looking at his Nook phone while he is um, sitting at a table. So that's cool that you're probably going to be, um, whenever you're at a table and you pull like out your Nook phone, it'll show it in game. Also, one thing that you might have not noticed is this woman has like a, a thought bubble coming out. So maybe that is the way that it's going to look when you are typing a message or using voice chat. So like see how she's doing that? Maybe she's typing something right now and that's the way it's going to go ahead and show up. Also these cherries look awesome. In this way, up to eight people. Plus it's cool to see people like crafting things and they show it off so you can see what they're seeing. Including Small you. things. Um, the fact you can whistle to get everyone's attention when you're using the camera app is really awesome for those like group photos. I've never played online with anyone ever, but it's just a really cool thing for people that have wanted to play online with people. And if they're like really gung ho about the game or if they're younger and they like the idea of like getting group photos with like my best friend, like that's really cool to go ahead and have this feature where you're able to go ahead and, you know, hey, everyone, like let's look together for a group photo, you know, like, oh, there you go. Island at one time. Feel free to get a yeah, and then everyone can emote at the same time, you know, have like cool things to focus on. Over here looks like a tea set on, um, this looks like it's about a space apart, so on an end table, which is cool. Another design. Together and make some memories. The airport is good for Here's the airport where they have a card stand. It also offers an in-game postal service. In-game postal service. Okay, it says in-game postal service. Does that mean that it's only going to be for your island of residence? Because when it, she goes into here, it only shows Tammy and Kid Cat, which are residents on the island. And it does look like it can only be one, two, three, four, five, six different areas. So will there only be six residents on the island? Or will this eventually turn into a page one of two? Or can you go ahead and send it to people that are going to be um, not on the island as well, like online? Because if you could send messages to people online, I would love that. Like that would blow my mind. Allowing you to send messages. And then this, this is actually kind of cool that they have season specific um cards so like this is only available till may 31st may 10th you know because like this is the easter one so that's really cool that they have like uh it looks like that's a long way away so it's like one two three four five there's like maybe 10 pages of cards that you can choose from which is always cool 
So, all right, I mean, I guess it's kind of like whatever. Eh, but there's a lot of cards you can see. Um, a birthday cake card, like that's a cool little one. This is always this is the one I always used when it came to like sending messages to people. Feel free to use this service to interact with other residents. But it makes you think, hold on, go back real quick. Just real quick. Go back. So now there is... You know, obviously all the the controls here, the different symbols, um, select, exit, confirm, blah, blah, blah. I was just, I didn't know if there was anything down here that we can see. Um, looks like you can go from lowercase to uppercase to whatever this is. I don't know, even more uppercase. It's got like a dot next to it. With other now this does say, you know, go ahead and, you know, send to other residents. But again, is this the only way that you can send stuff to people on your island? Because... To me, it would be a little weird if you're able to send postcards from the airport to your residence, but I don't know. Does that also mean that stationery is now gone and that we're no longer going to be able to use that? Does that also mean that the post office is now gone? Does that, like, I don't know. But you can also continue writing or add a gift, so it's cool that instead of dragging it in your inventory, you just click here. Um, so that's awesome. But again, questions. So remote, on a deserted island, no less. Don't worry. Here are three big ways we plan to Yep, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, everything we've seen here, the same new hairstyle. That's kind of like in a, a very interesting hairstyle. So in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities. It's kind of cool that they're packaged. That's sweet. Basic services. And I like the, the the light, but where did that come from? I don't know. This is cool. It shows that you have a message like that, which I mean, it obviously you, we were going to see it eventually, but like it's just cool that it. I'm guessing it goes down, and then when it comes up, it twists out to show that you have a message. And because before it was only like this and like that, and now it's like it'll go up and then twist, and you're like, oh, I've got a message. That's kind of cool. Is your specially built Nook phone. It has the standard apps like a camera. Yep. So Nook phone has seven apps to start off with: the camera, Nook Miles, your DIY recipes, your passport, your map, your customization, and then your rescue service. Which I don't understand why that's there, unless it's for when you go to another island, and you can rescue yourself and come back home quickly. But they said there more will be more apps over time, which you do see that there is a second page on apps later on we'll get into that later passport i'm guessing that'll show like all of your friends um like all their the places you've been or like maybe that's your friends list so now this island-wide broadcast some people are saying they don't like it i personally like this it's the it, it, to me this is it's hit or miss, sorry. It's hit or miss because this now seems like it's taking the place of um, the police station. So in the police station, you normally would go over and say any going ons. And then Booker would say, or Copper, one of them would say, oh, well, Sahara was seen in Acre A4. So I'm guessing this is what's going to be that. It's going to be you wake up in the morning and you log onto your island and immediately Tom Nook is going to go, welcome everyone. Here is this, or maybe it's only in a certain time of the morning from like 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then if you, or 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And if you log on during that time, then he'll do the broadcast or is it throughout the day? I don't know. Regardless, I think he's going to announce like, hey, everyone, here's some news. Um, it is now the fall season. You can go pick mushrooms. I will buy them from you for this. Also, Sahara was seen in Acre A3. Go check her out and buy some furniture or whatever. Our CEO, Mr. Nook, will make an island-wide broadcast to all residents. It's kind of cool you can hear the echo. The greeting, the latest on important island events, deserted island life advice, and... Deserted island life advice, it'll probably be one of those small things like, oh, by the way, don't eat tuna before 9 p.m. You'll get fat. And you're like, you know, because like one of the... Uh, animals would always say that, like, don't eat, I think it was like cherry pie after 9 p.m. And more. But it's very interesting that they have that. And I like that unless they take away the police station. Then I'd be a little bummed out. Since this is likely your first time on a deserted island, we're offering guidance and inspiration through the... Different hairstyles. Um, bugs. 
Uh, here's the residential uh, resident services. Timmy. Nook Miles. So you've got um, it, it. This is the name of that island. So instead of Nin Ten Miles, it'll be the name of your resident or your island Miles, which is kind of cool. Um, but these look like they are achievements that you'll be able to get. And it looks like there are spaces for more that you'll either unlock or get later on. Um, maybe these will be in future updates. Like when they say, here's the update for the, uh, winter or for the, uh, egg day or wow, bunny day. Maybe these will be the areas here for like collect five Easter eggs. Uh, talk to the bunny five times but it does show these um learning how to fish is an essential skill so it's also kind of cool that it tells you like this encourages all residents who are aiming to be a fishing master so once you get 10 fish you'll get this sticker um and then further on one of the goals here is the greet uh chatting with the residents try to talk to all of your neighbors every day again these are just little things that they i'm guessing will re um since it says every day i'm guessing that this will go ahead and update itself daily because it says every day if you talk to one person one day then i'm guessing the next one will be two neighbors three four and five um catching bugs so you have to collect 10 bugs to go ahead and do that which is nice um it looks like right here again we are fishing but they are just again they're they're bobbers just kind of in the water Sad thing is when they're fishing, they don't actually react to you catching a fish anymore, which is sad because I always liked it when you caught a fish and they'd be like, oh my God, you caught a fish. But now when they're like busy trying to catch their own fish, they're like, yeah, well, I don't care. Like I'm, I'm busy, but that's a large mouth bass. It looks like, um, so they caught their 10th fish and they go and get a sticker for it. Oh, hold on. I missed that. So what was the next one? It was 10 and then it was a hundred okay so we already can tell there's gonna be you catch 10 fish it jumps to 100 fish does that mean that this is going to be like a thousand fish and then five thousand and ten thousand or is it just gonna then progressively go up like 10 100 200 300 400 i don't know but again like for it to jump from 10 to 100 immediately instead of like 10 to 20 like that's huge but it also i feel like they want to make it so you're not you know grinding them all in one day oh it's the 17th of june here's 10 20 30 40 and 50 fish and now i'm done with this one they probably will have like this one will probably be a lot of fish maybe that'll be a thousand maybe it'll be 100 300 500 a thousand who knows you got title keywords. I'm guessing this will be for online play because it says accomplish ladder last. And this is, I'm guessing, like a way for people to see you like, oh, hello, so-and-so, the accomplished lad. Or in Ring Fit Adventure, you were able to put that keyword like um, as your like ID, I guess it was, for when you're on the leaderboard. So it was like, you know, the, the bicep crusher or whatever. I think that'll be like accomplished lad to show that you've done insert this. And that looks like it's from the passport. So this is probably just from traveling, I'm guessing. Or maybe that's what you, this is in the, the Nook Miles I know is different from passport, but maybe this will be, again, in your passport, it'll be the names of your friends and you can see the, the what accomplishments they've done because... If they do like certain fishing, you might be the wrangler lad or lass. I don't know. And you get 300. Um, that goes up here. Uh, again, let's see that. That goes here. And are we back to... Yep, still back to there. Well, you owe 5,000 miles. So now... So you get miles and then you have to pay him back with miles. And then later on you get a loan for bells. So I'm guessing the miles is for your island. So this is my theory is that after you're done paying off your package, then you can start going for rewards. So redeem Nook Miles, Nook Shopping, ABD. I don't know what that is. And again, if it's in a future game, let me know, but I, I have no idea. But redeeming Nook Miles and Nook Shopping is also really cool. Um, these are just really awesome things that I would love to have. Like a Nook Aloha shirt. Like I would love to wear that. The the Nook tee, the uh, blousen? 
um, the Nook Ink bandana, like all these Nook Ink things are really cool. Like I would love to have a fully decked out Nook um, wear. Also, here is something new that I just noticed. Different types of socks. So you can, I'm guessing, because it's a different icon, like these are all shirts, these are all hats, these are glasses, socks and shoes will be separate. So you can have different socks and different shoes as well as your knapsack. And then it looks like an umbrella here as well. But the fact that you can wear all these Nook things is like awesome to me. Like I would love to have that Nook shirt. I would love this. Um, the Nook bandana, it looks a little silly, but I would totally wear that. I want to see the cap. Go to the cap, but whatever. The Nook eye mask, I'm guessing that's like, I don't know, because usually eye masks are over your eyes, so would you not be able to see? I, but whatever. And then you go, so that was here. Then you go over to here, which is special, and then it looks like there's gifts. But then special is like you get a Nook Miles ticket. So does that mean that that is what you would use to go to different islands? As well as you get the Custom Design Pro Editor. So this is something that you can go ahead and buy later on. Pretty good tools recipe. So that is probably where you're going to get your um, your uh, uh, like better uh, net and your better fishing rod and all that kind of stuff. Um, you do have yourself here the tool ring. So that's only 800, which I'm guessing is the when you bring it up and it lets you ch quick choose your um, items, which is awesome top eight pop hairstyles. So this will be a top, this will be eight different hairstyles that you're gonna get as well as cool hairstyles and stylish hair colors. So there's your customization there. Pocket organization guide, I don't know what that is, but it'll probably be more, I'm guessing more space. And then sign off, select details about it. And then it tells you when the delivery will be. So I'm guessing some of these will like be sent to your mailbox. I'm Custom Design Pro Editor. Oh, you have to unlock that in the Nook phone. Okay. So that's an app in the Nook phone that you will eventually get, which is the Custom Design Pro Editor. So you can do, I'm guessing you don't need to then go to the Able Sisters to make your own thing. Um, again, here is now digging stuff up. There's the tool ring. Um, so you get the flimby fishing rod. Here's like your, um, which is funny, that's still the same fishing rod thing but then you have your axe your shovel all these your slingshot is bring is coming back your umbrella a fan and then i'm guessing this will be the magic wand that you learn about later on but that's really nice that you get to do that instead of pause go grab it come back drop it off look at that look at that look at that so nook fan, nook shirt, I'm guessing those are nook shorts, nook socks, because you can kind of see the little leaf there, and then the, I'm guessing those are the nook shoes, but like that's a full getup and I love it. And then you can use the fan. Nook ink is here for you, but remember, the island is very much deserted. Beautiful. And so we'd like to take this opportunity to talk about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. <laughs> dangerous creatures so bees are back it says wasps though so are the bees now wasps even though in the future like area you do see that it shows um it does show uh oh my god what's the word it does show honeybees there's also scorpions also this looks like it's three tiers of the island so you get your first tier where you're standing on your second tier which you can walk up on and then is that a third tier you can get up on or is that just the the way that you can no longer be higher than that you know like that's the like so you can go here here and then that's just the limit those look scary and he said i got stung by wasps so i'm guessing now they're taking it so instead of bees they are now wasps plus look at this outfit like this is again, one thing that I've been looking for the entire time. It's spring, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna go and just look for bugs. So you put on your little explorer hat, you put on your little explorer outfit and your little boots and shoes and your little socks and you go and just collect bugs or you go to a different island and you're like, ah, oh, cheerio chaps, I'm here to explore your island. Like it's just, oh, it's so cool. And these guys actually look like wasps, so I'm guessing bees are now wasps because wasps are really mean and bees are really nice. And with the whole like bees going extinct thing, like that's, I'm guessing they're making bees look 
nicer. And again, here as you walk up and there's like the edge of your island and then up here is going to be more like that little area here or is that a cutoff? I don't know. <laughs> also, it looks like when wasps sting you twice, like if you have your eye patch on and they sting you again, you're going to go ahead and um, have to... Uh, you're going to probably get sent back home where you lose items when you get sent home. I don't know. So if you encounter this, and also, oh, check this out, which again, I don't know if this has already been in a game or not. You can shake trees with your net out. In the original Animal Crossing, you can't do that. All you do is smack the tree with your net and you look silly. So it's just like, that's really cool. At least I don't think you can. And then someone's going to comment and be like, uh, you've been able to do that from the beginning. Like, you just press this button instead of that one. It's like, oh. So, I don't know. But now, it also looks like you can now safely outrun wasps easier. Because look at that. Like, they haven't caught up to them really quick. And then that said, wasp nests. So, it says wasp nests. So, you have to actually get the wasp. You have to, I guess, scoop the wasp nest instead of the wasp themselves or you're going to have both of them. You'll be able to collect the wasp nest and the wasp. Who knows? Can be cured with medicine available at <laughs> services. And we recommend keep so they say recommend keeping medicine and medicine is being sold. So that's probably going to be a big thing. I'm guessing you will lose items if you get attacked by wasps twice in a row because the fact that they're A, putting it in the direct and B, selling it as an actual item means that it has to be something of importance. It also could be a throwaway thing and they're just like, ah, medicine. And then you're like, I don't care. Like, let me get stung by a wasp twice and go home. Who cares? Now when I get stung again, I'll just go back home. Who cares? However, I personally think that when you get stung by wasps, Let's say you're on a different island. You're probably going to get sent home home, and then you might lose your items that you've picked up there. If they do that, I would love it because then that means you do actually have to keep medicine on you as opposed to just being like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll never use medicine. Some on you, just in case. Plus you can bulk purse. That's nice. Um, these things are awesome. These little like lights that are mushrooms like that's really cool plus it also looks like there's a small workbench here and then also a toolbox right next to it so those are going to be two different things that you can make but those are really cool then again here's that little sign for the thing with a, a shell which is also ta-da a light what also wisp is back which is awesome and it looks like Wisp still separates into five different spirits and then will disappear into five different areas that so you have to find them and come back. Gulliver is coming back. So that's really cool. Big fish. See, there was two fish in that same area. Honk shoo, honk shoo. Snoring sounds. Honk shoo, honk shoo. Those are fake honk shooings. Please offer all the support you can. Relying on you to make it home. It's kind of interesting, though, that it's telling you how to wake up Gulliver. I'm guessing these are for people that have never played the game before. D again, different outfits. Still the same things here that we've seen, so no new apps yet. So this is cool on the map, that it goes ahead and shows you where you are, shows you where your resident is, where your residents are. So, like, here's you, here's your other residents. There's this, there's the dock, um, a few things. It is separated into uh, the the six by six quadrants, so that's nice. So you have A1, which will be a quadrant. These will also be quadrants, go figure, even though that looks like there's barely anything there. Who knows, there might be something that you can actually put there. So that's kind of cool that each one of these is quadrants instead of just you know, moving this corner up to like right here or whatever, like, or, you know what I mean. Like, if instead of cutting it off here, like right there, that would be an optimal cutoff. Like, they give you this extra quadrant, which is interesting. So, will there be stuff that's up there or not? Who knows? Also, this has been in every single um, one of the uh, things. Is that a secret island that you can only get to, like, eventually when you can terraform? And, if I'm not mistaken, this outlay uh, outline right here, this... Oh my god, what it looks like is different from the ones in the very beginning. We're at 1054, so let's go back to here and figure this out. 
Um, da -da -da -da. here we go. You can choose the island. It is completely different. So we are going to have randomized maps that you can choose from. And that confirms it right there by looking at this one and then looking back. So that is really nice. Because those four were different and the river did not curve in, in that way in any of them. So that is really cool. That really makes me happy as a person that wants to see different variety in this game and the levels of customization and the levels of design that people are going to be putting in these islands. Like the fact that there are all these different things put into it is amazing, you know? Like the the you're going to have all these different types of rivers and lakes and everything. Plus you can make your own rivers and lakes. So it's like, who cares? But still, it's the fact that I personally will not want to terraform that much. So th having the island the way it is, like, whew, that's cool. Also, this area, you see this dark blue? That looks like it is your entire area for your residence. So it could be, obviously, there's going to be room for eight random players because you're going to be able to put eight on there. But how many animals will you have? That has been bugging me because we do not know that yet. We do not know how many, um, how many, uh, animals that are going to be so we need to find that out you know because you're gonna have one this looks like it's a three by three right here so one two three four five six seven eight nine and that maybe looks like it's going to be 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so it'll probably be eight islanders and then 10 villagers that's my theory and that's like a full island will be 18 people all together and if if that's the case I'd be okay with it, but again, coming from the original Animal Crossing, I would much rather have the Islanders be, you know, the, sorry, the villagers, no, Islanders, the animals, be 15 of them like there were in the original one, but who knows? 10 is still a good number. Plus it shows where the airport is, it shows where this is, and then eventually there's going to be, I'm guessing, room for the other ones, like the museum and the Able Sisters, etc. Nook's Cranny. Will those get smaller? This confuses me. You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no time. <sighs> Rangers go. So, what kind of confuses me? And also, look, check this out, uh, just real quick. So that's your shovel sitting up, and then I'm guessing when you drop your fishing rod, that's what it's going to look like as well with a little fish outside, which is really cool. You can put fish outside now. Um, but with the rescue services, are you ever going to use that on your own island? Like, do people get lost on their own islands? Plus, if people are saying it's a quick way to travel back home, no, it's not. Like, you can probably run from the A A6 all the way down to F1 quicker than that entire cutscene of going to your phone, clicking it, and then doing the whole, like... <laughs> <laughs> doing the whole cutscene of let's you know we're lost and we're gonna get you back home like i it might shave a few seconds but it's like really if the rescue service is for being on a deserted island like because you can go from island to a different island and then friends island and use that to just get home quickly like a like an immediate exit out that would be cool however also, it looks like it's a rescue service and they drop you off and it's a rescue service. So do they require compensation? Will they charge you money? Will you lose your items? See, they didn't show the rest of it. There was more to look. There should be plenty to enjoy on the island already. But if you want your in-game life to be even more comfortable, we will offer a number of optional extras. Optional extra number one. This is weird that they they said it as an optional extra. Flowers can be put on tables now. So that is a picked flower that you can put on a table. It's not an item. That is a picked flower. That is awesome. This is also, I'm guessing that's an item because I don't see those in game unless those are weeds, but they look like succulents. So I don't know. Also, that's a customized cot. Like the other one was like blue and this one's definitely with a custom pattern. Do we need a little more space? Of course we do. It's Animal Crossing. 
Plus, here's that tool uh, toolbox that we saw before. Now you can place it on a bench. You could place magazines, I'm guessing. There's an upgraded tool uh, uh, crafting station. So I'm guessing the crafting station is going to go from the small one on the log to the small one that is about half the size to the bigger one that is this big, which also brings the question, will you be able to take your um, crafting from the small thing to more crafting to more crafting? Like what is the limit to how much you can craft? Like, can you craft these? Can you craft the coffee mug, these vases? Can you craft um, the different furniture? So I don't know. We did see in a previous video, Fuchsia had her whole like lovely series house, um, which is, hold on. Oh my God. I have so many tabs up that it's taken forever. But there is, Animal Crossing New Horizons. It was in the gameplay in the beginning. Um, no, 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 no. I don't want this. I want the trailer. Because then there was... There it is. Uh, where was it? Let's talk to Fuchsia. And there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed. See, like this. So there are still regular pieces of furniture, which I'm guessing these will be furniture. Like, I'm guessing the what it, how it's going to be is the crafting stuff you can drop inside or outside. But the normal stuff, like this and like the regal everything, will only be available inside because there's like a pool table and there looks like a classic bed with the classic writing, um thing as well as a dartboard and a classic table um a plant but you don't see those outside so there will still be the entire giant catalog of furniture which is awesome but there's also going to be the normal um craftable stuff plus this looks like it's a different type of window so that's a cool thing here is also a beach ball and a football so will villagers be able to play with those like throw it back and forth or is it just there for show plus there's a thing of a uh, like ring toss so again will you be able to play with it or is it just for show I don't know. And a little bird, um, again, a coffee mug that is a custom design on there. That looks like a, um, that looks like a mailbox. Here is an upgrade. So you go from a tent. The tent is going to be, it's, this is the normal size that the house is going to be. So then like right here is the edge of it and it's still the same size. So you will have that entire footprint for your entire house, no matter what. Which is, it's fine. Because the inside of your house is what matters, not the outside. I mean, the outside will be cool if you can customize everything. We already know you can do the roof and the mailbox, but can you do like everything? You know, maybe change this from like slatted to stone? I think so, but my memory is fa uh, failing me right now on how that works. Plus, these little um, plants, will you be able to water them and will those be flower areas or is it just looking like that? So it'll just look interesting. I don't know, but it would be really sweet if you can customize these right here to be like flowers on the sides. I wouldn't be disappointed if it wasn't. It's just, it would be cool if it was. Let's go back to full screen. Oh man, it's taking forever. Taking out a loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. This to me... I'm guessing you'll be able to talk to Tom at some point and say like, hey, I want to make a make a house. And I'm guessing that'll be after you originally pay off your first resident services uh, package. So when you first come to the island, you will have to pay off the miles to that you use to get there. Once you do that, he will probably say, hey, you've gotten accustomed to this. You've paid off this. Would you like to build a house? So 98,000 and you'll be able to build your first house, which is awesome because originally it was like, what, 20,000, 17,000, and now it's 98,000. So that gives you a goal to strive for just to build a single house. Then there is also being able to upgrade your house multiple times. Awesome, awesome. Oh, bells used in the correct way. Instead of just, you have your house, you pay it off, you go all the way up to the max, and then you're done. It's like, you have so many things to buy your, uh, use your bells on. And there's no need to worry about applying for one. You can pay it back at your own pace. I'll get constructed or started right away. I'm guessing it'll be like, it, it's weird to me, like, so you're in a tent, 
Will he then begin construction and then the next day you'll move into the house? So you place the tent and then place your house and then get rid of the tent? Or is it exactly where your tent is and then it'll do like a zoom out and zoom in and your house is there? I don't know. This is so cool though. The fact that like just the, the house looks also instead of like a shit, instead of that shitty house that you were so used to in um, the original Animal Crossing where it's like the bare floors, like these have like windows, which you have never had before. These have like nice flooring and walls and just so much space already. You know, it's originally a one, two, three, four by four area. Now it looks like it's a six by six. This is weird to me. Also, check this out. You've got like a, a pants icon now. <laughs> and like, here's your flooring and shirts and socks. Again, you can change your socks, which is just really cool. Plus, there's a whole area here for customization of your clothes. Which I'm guessing, yeah, I've, I don't think I've said this before. I'm guessing this will be pre-made outfits. So like, if you have these right here, you can go ahead and turn those into like, you can put those on and then save that outfit. And then whenever you want to change, you can change into that. I think, I don't know, but maybe that's also just the pattern that you can change onto that. Storage to me is a little weird because then that makes me think that we're not gonna have basements anymore because the coolest part about having a house in the original was you have your house, you build it up slowly, then you get the second floor and then you get a basement or you get a basement then a second floor, whichever direction it was. And then you get to, I think, expand the upper floor or was it you expand the basement? I don't remember, anyways. But now that you have storage, which is kind of like your stuff just disappears, like wh where is that gonna go, A? And then B, you don't have a basement anymore? Like that kind of upsets me. Like are, will there still be the HRA? Will there still be feng shui? Like will you have to place everything in a certain way? And then if so, for me, being able to put stuff in the basement was my place to have like a third area to mess around with and put up like the home models or all the stuff that I know I didn't want part of my theme. Like if I was doing the blue theme, I wouldn't want a slot machine in there, but I wanted the slot machine. So I'd put it down in the basement, you know? So it, like, will that be a thing? Will upstairs be a thing? Cause we don't see that in here, but we do see separate areas and do different rooms. Are those different rooms or is that going to the basement and the upstairs? We'll find out later. So where does your storage go? You've got these sneakers that you can wear. You can place your sneakers. You can hang them on the wall. You could hang items on the wall now, which I know we're gonna see later on, but it's like, oh my God. You get to hang items on the wall. You get to hang your shoes on the wall. Like I'm definitely putting those on the wall like next to my bed or the you know door or something. So that way when I walk out, it's like, ah, I need to get my shoes on. Like it'll just be that cool little thing that like you have to get dressed in the morning. And while I know that sounds a little silly, it's the thought process where you're like, I can now dress up in like pajamas and then log off for the night, you know, and then go into my bed and go to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, oh, it's raining. I might want to put on my rain slicker. Oh, it's snowing. I might want to put on some, uh, like a nice coat. Oh, it's nice in spring. Let me put on a nice dress or, you know, shorts and a t-shirt and walk outside. Oh, it's the next day. Let me put on a different outfit. Like that is so cool. You get to be your very own this is also drop item place on wall and put in storage. Standard. <laughs> Still really cool that you get to do that. Flooring, place on the floor, horizontal or vertical? Oh, yes. You get to go ahead and again, this might've been in Happy Home Designer or whatever, but for me coming from original Animal Crossing, horizontal or vertical is amazing. Cause then there are certain patterns where you're like, God, I don't like it like that. I want it to be different. Like that's horizontal, but then vertical would be up and down. Like that's good job, Nintendo. This is amazing. You can turn your guide on or off. I'm gonna look at the buttons first, okay? Turn the guide on or off, which is nice, because then you get to see like how many spaces you have, which right now is six by six. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. But there's also the half blocks, so you can turn that on or off. You can switch the camera around. You can look in your pockets for your different items and you can finish it up. Turn your lights on or off, and then I'm guessing that's your storage right there. 
And then this is between, I'm guessing, floor plan and picture mode. So you can actually take a photo of your different areas. Cause, but then there is, um, oh no, that's moving camera. Um, but that's really cool. Plus you can select multiple things. So you can like take this whole area here. So like the, the coffee table with the, um, rug and the thing and move that all at the same time instead of rug, coffee table, flower. It'll now be the entire thing can move. This also looks like it's a different color from anything else. So I'm going to make a guess that this is also a thing that you can customize as well. Maybe not in depth with patterns, but with colors so that it can match your indoor theme because people are going to want their workbench inside to be able to work on it. Me personally, the only place I would put a workbench is in the basement. So if there is not a basement, I'm going to be really upset. But if there is a basement, I'm going to be super happy. Anyways, you could also hang your uh, wreath, uh, your your garland on the on the wall here. These look like you can also put the wreath um, on your head because I think those are what you were able to do before and also on your door. And then that looks like it's a hanging thing. Plus, like now everything looks super 3D and like it's, it's just super cool. Like I would have never known that was there or that was there. You could put stuff on different walls. Like that is super awesome. Here's your storage. So you've got like here, here, here. These are all customizable, I think. And then here's your double sofa and these things. Um, a little horse, like there's like a wash basin and a bigger sink and everything for like a bathroom area. A toaster, <laughs> a smoothie machine. Like these are super cool. Like there looks like to be an alarm clock. That looks like maybe, here's a stack of books. That looks like another stack of books in some way, like in a book holder or something. That looks like it's a, like a pantry uh, thing. And you can place it down, grab, rotate. You can store it if you don't want it there. And then you grab it and just drop it off. And this can probably be all done with like one of your joy cons and just like click and drag, which would be super sweet if it was. Um, and that's cool that it kind of like does like a highlight of things when you're looking at the walls. Um, cause now you're, wait, actually, cause there was, I'm, oh, right here between walls and floor. That's what it is. So you press that. And then that goes into the, um, Focus the wall uh, hangings. So you can, so certain things are for walls, certain things are for floors. Can you move the pictures around or the, the windows around? It'd be kind of cool. Plus there's one here too. Like that's really cool. Like, look at this. So there, yeah, it's a little like coffee table uh, book holder. Move stuff around, zoom in and out, um, take a photo. Here's your zoom. Um, that is whatever that is is that from the oh it's probably to make your character look at the camera i'm guessing and then this is um i'm guessing that is you can change the uh, i don't know what these are but it looks like that is from your shades you can do your shades uh down or up so in case you want it to be nighttime in outside or you know you want the them down this i don't know what that is maybe you can turn off your wall hangings or maybe that's for pictures or something but that's really cool that you can see it all the way around here. Yep, and then you press the R and then the, she looks at the camera. Um, but then that's like, it's it's just super awesome things like that you can just see more detail about, you know, what you're looking at. Also, it gives you a reason to put things at different angles instead of just facing the camera. Because now if you can look around, you might want your alarm clock to like face your bed and you can put your bed against the wall and the alarm clock's facing it so it's more real. And that's really cool. We already saw all this, but now, so that's your next bigger one. So you go from, you go from this where it's a normal uh, roof with a small little chimney and a, a little mailbox. that's like made out of wood if you own a house. to a still the same mailbox, which is interesting. Um, this looks like there are flowers that are now on there. It looked like that got a little bit bigger, but then your chimney is now um, stone instead of metal. And then you have a, like, it's more prominent ceiling. And then uh, I think that changed. Here is now a bit, oh man, this is so good. But now your bushes disappear. Um, so it's still, again, the same floor plan, but your bushes disappear. You now have a different mailbox. It looks like you get a new room. Again, it doesn't look like you're getting a uh, second floor, but you get a new room. Can you also change these right here so that they're different? 
So now we've got, this is the, I'm guessing the second one up because originally it was four by four then there was six by six. This looks like it might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This might be eight, one, two. Oh, actually you can kind of see the, the lines here. So like right here and here, that looks like a block. So it's probably like one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll probably be eight by eight. This looks like about eight by eight. Um, and then that's, or maybe, I don't know. But then we go up, like here looks like maybe 10 by 10, or maybe this, maybe it was six by six and this is the eight by eight. So yeah, this looks like, this looks more like four and then that looks like four. So there's eight by eight there. And then, oh man, oh man, this is just, I don't know what to do about this. Cause now it's like, again, I've never played the other games, but to me, what this looks like is this looks like this might be going into a either a second room because there's no stairs and there's no stairs going down or up so it doesn't look like that however i think they're trading the verticality and the digging down for spreading out wider so now you're going to have a room over here you're going to have a room over here probably progressively smaller than these rooms and then you're going to have a back room which might be like actually where your storage is so instead of it being like a um basement you're now gonna have like a storage room because that's what it kind of looks like since it's dark instead of it being lit up like these guys are or else these would be dark as well Whatever your situation, but that's really cool what if it could be bigger of course we want a bigger house that's so sweet <sighs> so i like how the little tickets come out like that's just a cool feature and he's also drinking a nook style like drink. Oh, it's oh, it's just got a leaf on it that doesn't match this leaf, but it's so he just took a sip of a drink. So you do have to buy the Nook Miles ticket with the Nook Miles that you earn. So you're going to do fishing and talking to your neighbors and bug collecting, which will give you like 5,000 points. You buy a ticket, which then gives you the opportunity to go on an island tour. Okay. So what it looks like for these is these are going to be similar to the Torgamer Island where Captain takes you. So now you're going to be a random, like, I'm going to this island to collect coconuts, which obviously you're going to want peaches instead if you come from an island that has apples. There's going to be one bench, it looks like, on every island. It's probably going to be right in the beginning so you can craft stuff. And this will be an area where there are also, again, more flowers that you will not see anywhere else. So these look like they're going to be flowers that will probably be only specific to this island or islands because I know that there is bamboo and stuff. But you can probably bring those back home and then put those somewhere as well. Plus, again, you're going to see like these new islanders on the islands that you can talk to and ask them to come visit. So that'll be kind of cool to go to an island and be like, hey... Like, because when you originally go to the island, you would normally just talk to someone. I've been talking for over an hour and 40 minutes about this, and I'm only 13 minutes in the game. Oh my god. Then there are the islanders that you'll be able to talk to, and they just kind of say like, oh, it's nice to see you, whatever. And then, but these ones are actually islanders that you're actually able to say, hey, like, come to my island. Awesome. You can dig up all the flowers, which is cool. So you can actually pick up flowers and then replant them, or you can just pick the flowers and they will regrow. So that's really cool. So now we do see chop down tree, get wood, and three hits, and it falls, which is different from what it used to be. At least with a flimsy axe, you hit the tree three times in the other Nintendo Direct and it made it just drop wood and it did not fall. So I'm glad that you can still cut down trees. I thought they were going to take that out of the game and make it so you can't cut down trees, but it's nice that you can. Also, it looks like... So there's one, two... Oh, there's three. Never mind. I was going to say when it crashed, it looked like it left a block as well, but I guess not. So there's a little pond skimmer right there. There's a, a you know different fish that are probably going to be unique to the island. Um, there are going to be bugs that are unique to the island, I'm guessing. It's a nice change of atmosphere. And you know it's Coconuts. Here comes an islander that you're going to be able to meet up with. Yep. 
Here is an octopus uh, islander, which I've never seen before, an octopus animal. So that's kind of interesting that that is a new type. Also, all this bamboo, like that is going to be interesting if you can plant that on your island. Personally, I don't know where I would plant that unless I would plant it like near a river. So it just kind of look cool or if you would plant it seasonally, I do not know. Um, but it's kind of cool that you have this new islander right here and they're both kind of dressed the same. He's got like a, a gi on it looks like and then she's got like some Asian dragon inspired uh, outfits. Um, and also more hair options. There was a little, um, there was a little campfire down there I think. Yeah, like a little campfire here. There was some stuff in the back. Go back a second. Yes, Margie. Right here. Oh, okay. there's this island inspired. There was like a, oh no, that was just flowers. So then here's this, which is interesting because that looks like it's very north of the map. And then here's some bells it looks like so we actually get to see what bells look like on the ground instead of it being bags of bells it looks like it's just normal bells so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven unless well they do have stars on them so i was gonna say it's just gold but instead it looks like it is bells also when you hit a rock you'll get both a you'll get both a coin as well as a pill bug normally it was the pill bug or the coin and now it looks like you can get rocks coins and uh insects all in the same hits which is awesome also there is a tarantula chasing the character and you'll be able to oh my god that was really close to that kind of that scared me when i first saw it i was like oh my god what's gonna happen if he gets bit by a tarantula <laughs> like ugh. but then you have um this dude here which i he kind of looks new to me but he's kind of like looking around at the flowers and stuff and you know, you're kind of walking around. And again, snow hat, snow jacket, snow boots. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, flowers in the hair, a little thing on, different uh, sandals. It's really cool. All these different flowers are, again, awesome. Here is more leaf piles. Again, burning leaf piles. There are also green leaf piles and then brown ones. So maybe those have sat out later and then they go from green to brown or they've been on the ground later and then that's what happens i don't know there's your shovel sitting up um we do have it says up to eight people on an island we knew that already um here is uh up to eight account holders yeah we know that um here's again the little thing stuff 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 here's timmy or tommy walking around all the different things here, really cool. Um, putting stuff that close together, just so it looks cool. These little like tires. So now here's a new feature. So it used to be seven, now it is eight. So it says call resident, which is really cool because again, that's party play. Please like the island residents you wanna play with. So you can go ahead and bring up your guys here. Dad, mom, and Leo. They come up. Um, no new stuff here oh actually he does have a so there's like a satchel there's like a little purse there's a backpack and then he has a like his it looks like a camping tent that you originally were given but that could also be just a like a backpack type thing here's some more flowers i don't know again if these are new or not but they look really nice some cool unique hair and a hat and glasses Just very interesting stuff. The only thing I don't like about this party play is you're all on the same screen. Like you have to be on the same screen to do stuff. Plus like a, there's like a tire stack here. As you can see, it's easy to change out the assigned leader. Swapping leader, yeah, yeah. Followers can quickly take turns doing what they want to do, even if it's just a little shop. I want to sell what's for sale. Yeah, that's cool. So you can only get a beach ball or beach towel. I'm guessing these are gonna be limited to like resident service stuff. So you can't actually buy like slot machines or classic beds. It's gonna be just like small things that are resident services. And then once you get to Nook's Cranny, that's when you can actually start getting real furniture. So it showed that he was the leader and he was the follower. And then when you do that, I'm guessing that all goes into here. Which is interesting. 
Um, I guess like in the moment, and like also here's a honeybee. So there's going to be honeybees and wasps, which is very interesting. Um, but you're going to go ahead and catch like a crawfish. It gets put into here. And then I'm guessing, like I said, in the moment, it's like, oh, I caught that crawfish. Oh, but I'm not on my account. And then it goes ahead and, you know, goes back to this and then he can claim it later and come get it. So this also kind of looks like the lost and found as well. So we might have the police station gone. Um, this is kind of, you know what this is, like you're going to use, so you get your passport, which I'm guessing is again, your friends list. And then there's your best friend. So I'm guessing that is your actual really close friends, the chat keyboard, the settings, and then custom designs. Um, this actually might just be how to get, maybe you get to check out players islands or check out your friends list, which has their islands. You get to see what they look like from a distance or what they have as their native fruit. Again, I don't know. We haven't seen much of it. And then custom designs, which is actually going to be really cool because um, I know that people like to go ahead and do those. Like the Animal Crossing and New Leaf and then Happy Home Designer, et cetera, et cetera. And then that'll be cool to, but why would you draw on 3DS? Like when you have the ability to do it on there, unless you already have designs from your 3DS or maybe you take your 3DS and you still like playing New Leaf, but it's like, why would you play both? I don't know. And I guess Happy Home Designers are more in-depth. Again, I haven't played Happy Home Designer. Maybe it's a more in-depth way of drawing or whatever, but you can do it in game. And you also now have a touch screen instead of like the little stylus. But then again, that's the same kind of stylus and touch screen. I don't know. You download that, which is cool. It's a short sleeve shirt, um, which is interesting. No big deal. Here's your pro designs. <clears throat> so this is very interesting because you have here for a hat, you have here for, I'm guessing that is another type of hat because it looks like that's like the side and then that's like the top of it. But that looks like a snow cap maybe. Or no, that's the hat with a brim. So like you've got the, the front of the hat where you can actually put like a design. This is going to be the back of it, which will probably be like really, um, you know, not really noticeable, but it'll probably be spread out more. And then you've got your brim. This looks like a, just a regular kind of like cap because it'll stretch all the way around and then that'll be the top. Here are, I'm guessing dresses. And then there are shirts and shorts, maybe? Or is this shirts and, oh, these are, sorry, these are shirts and sleeves, okay? That's what I'm looking at here. We are looking at shirts and sleeves. Um, and then these are dresses, and then these are shirts and short sleeves. These are long sleeves, but again, really kind of cool stuff. You could wear and you could also display it, which I'm guessing will be one of those signs that has just your display on it. So you still can write things like, don't step on the flowers or like welcome or we love you or Tom looks the best or I was here, you know? So that'd be kind of interesting. When connected online, <clears throat> this is interesting that you can go ahead and use this um, for the people that don't want to talk to people. You know, like I, I personally would never want to actually talk to anyone. I would much rather use the, the text chatting and do that kind of thing. Be like, hey, look at this, which is kind of cool. But again, for people that want to talk, um, you could also use voice chat. Such really cool. Um, but again, I don't think people are going to be using that too much. However, young kids that don't know about Discord or voice whatever's on their phone will probably use that. So that's kind of cool for those people as well. This does not launch the day of, it launches later. So it's interesting. It would have said March 20th and it doesn't. <coughs> well then, now that you've seen part one, are you interested in part two? Oh my God, we've only gotten through part one and I'm two hours into this video. So now he says, imagine the grand potential. And then at this point I freaked out. I was like, wait a second. Now we're gonna start to see what an island will look like. Ooh, this is good. So again, you got animals that are fishing. Really get that deserted island this, so, okay, we gotta go back just really quick and see this. So we're gonna go ahead and make this really uh, quick. Uh, so we've got deserted. the animal sees the butterfly and then gets into position uh, to go ahead and catch the butterfly uh, and it also reacts to it, which is awesome. Because now animals will go ahead and actually Again, I don't know if they'll randomly pull out the, the net 
or if they'll just have it with them and they'll be walking around. <clears throat> but it does look like they will go ahead and actually see the butterfly, react to it. However, the same thing when it comes to fishing, because I haven't, no one's seen them catch a fish yet or catch a butterfly yet. Will they just like stalk the butterfly and give you a hint that the butterfly is there and then you catch it? Or will they actually catch it and then you kind of just go like, oh, wow, it's funny. Maybe even talk to them and then they will say like, oh, do you want this? You can buy it from me, which would be interesting because it looks like it looks like they haven't used it yet. They did not swing at it. So there's something interesting. Also, morning exercises. So that's really cool. And again, these three tier looking areas. So will you have three tiers to your island or will it be only uh, one or two? You know, because like you have the ground floor, then you have that second one. And then is this a third one you could access or is that just a cutoff? <clears throat> sleeping villagers that are going to go ahead and like just sleep. That'll be really, really cool. Again, really cool that these people are going to be in the same vicinity as each other. You're going to be able to have friends and enjoy them. Again, here's a different design. So you can actually have this uh, thing here, but I think these are a residence house. So this would be like a log cabin -y thing for when they transfer their tents into houses. Also, will they ask you as a favor to make a house for them? Or will they eventually upgrade their own houses? Because to me, it makes me think that these guys kind of are still reliant on you. Like, hey, put my tent somewhere. Hey, this, this, this. So will they say to you eventually if you're saying like, hey, let's chat. And they go, you know what? I've always wanted to know like, I want a big house. I saw that you got a big house. Can I get one as well? Then they'll say like, can you build one for me? I will pay you. Or can you build one for me? Like... I need to get this much wood, or if you get me this much wood, I can build my own house. Or again, will they just eventually upgrade their own houses by themselves? Which I think would be really sweet to eventually see like someone move to the island, have their tent, and then eventually solidify their stay in a big house. Plus it looks like these guys are kind of like chatting or they're next to each other and that's just a the reaction that they're doing. Or is are they reacting with the ukulele and playing it? And then the the sound of the ukulele is making the character do that? Or is that an emote? Or are they emoting? And then this character is just, again, when you emote, the characters that are nearest to you will react to that. For this reason, we're planning to invite more animal residents to come live here. Out of the blue, we have three interested parties. So you start with two. Three are interested, so that's five altogether for animals. That said, we don't want you to so that's five so far. Like um, here's another different type of house. So it's going to be really awesome that they have different types of houses. Plus there's these stone things that you can make, garbage and stuff. I don't think people are going to be picking up garbage. Or will they? Because it doesn't look like there's a dump anywhere nearby so far. So will you just like bag up garbage you don't want, leave it on the floor, and then it just gets taken away? I don't know. But it's really cool that there are different types of houses in this game. There are stone houses. There are brick houses. I think there's stone and brick. But there's also like wood. There's some interesting style here. And then there's also uh, the wood log cabin houses. And the ability to reserve a space so they don't randomly pop up in your town in the most inopportune areas. Because you just build a flower patch or an orchard. And then all of a sudden they plant right down in the middle of it. And you're like... Come on, man. Like I was right here making an orchard and you plop down in the middle of it. Now I got to build around you or build somewhere else. Like you can actually reserve the area for people to come in. That's really cool. And I wonder how much it's going to cost to do that. You know, because obviously it's going to cost an amount of bells or it's going to cost crafting material. And then here we are again with like a new per. I think that's a new person, Keaton. Um... He said, I just wish I can live here. And then you could say, come to my island or yeah, it's pretty great. So you, you have the option to deny people, which is nice. But we won't stop there. We're also <sighs> and then here comes the museum. The museum looks like it's going to be a big thing and you can go ahead and put it down somewhere. Nook's Cranny is awesome because here are multiple things about Nook's Cranny, okay? First things first, it has a blueprint here, a foot, uh, oh my god, a foot, uh, it's got an area that is marked off for future 
upgrades. So Nook's Cranny will not be the final thing. You can upgrade it to, I'm guessing, Nook and Go, Nook Way, and then Nookingtons, which will be so awesome to see because eventually you've got resident services, which has nothing. And then I'm guessing Tom Nook will say, hey, you know what? It would be really cool if like we can go ahead and actually, you know, Timmy and Tommy want to go ahead and run the business. It, you know, in a, they want to sell stuff. So then you build Nook's Cranny, which what this is, I don't know. That looks like that could also be the new dump where like you drop stuff off there to get rid of it. I don't know, but we'll find out. Then you have this like bulletin board just sitting there. So I'm guessing this will eventually, and then like that's kind of there. So these are just like small things, but I'm guessing they'll be put like on the walls or there'll be a progressive upgrade. Um, but again, it shows that this will be like an upgradable thing. It'll go from Nook's Cranny, which looks a hell of a lot better than the original one that Nook had, where it was like a little box, all the way up into Nookingtons. The Able Sisters will make a return, which a which they have a little, which it doesn't actually look like you can look inside, but it does have like this little window here. I don't know if that changes. We're going to look it's a green dress. Remember green dress and we're going to see if that changes. So maybe you'll be able to put that on display in a window later. Able scissors look the same. Then there's this little camp, uh, campground thing. Um, so there is going to be a campground thing where you can go in. Oh my God, the fucking museum. So this museum is gorgeous. This thing looks so good because you have all these different fauna. You have like this path here. You got like this beautiful waterfall with a river. You've got like, here's like one of the bugs right here. Am I in the way? I am in the way. There's like a little bug right here. There's like a, there's another bug here. There is a um, praying mantis on this side over here. So you've got like all these awesome things. Um, here's another bug here, which I've never seen that bug before. There looks like a honeybee. So there's that. But like, this just looks so beautiful. And then you got this bridge to walk across with the butterflies flying everywhere. And then like, you got like this dock area and these like professional looking signs now instead of like the other ones, which are like little wood plaques. Here's another bug. Oh man, you got a giant shark, a giant shark, a giant marlin, and these other giant fish. Like, are you gonna be able to catch those things? Plus, what is this guy right here? These are huge, 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 huge things. How do you catch those with a little fishing rod? Like also like when you reel it up, like is it going to be just like the colacanth where it's like you just kind of have like this giant fish and it's like, yeah, that's cool. Or is it actually going to be like, oh my God, like this is a giant fish. Or is there another way that you can catch these guys? Cause that is awesome. Plus, like, there's these other small fish here, like these. These, I think, are just, like, a... Maybe that might be, like, a specific fish that you catch, like, one of. And when you put it into the, the tank, it'll look like a school of fish. Um, but, like, look at these fish, man. And this is beautiful with the lighting and everything. And, like, that guy is just big and massive. And then you've got the, the dinosaur exhibit. Like, here it shows, like... Um, there looks like a Velociraptor or something. There's something over here. Another one over here. So there's one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's probably a seventh one over here. Here's an eighth one right here. Um, but like there's different types of dinosaurs that you can have with the lights on them. Um, yep, there's like another one over here. Like here, this one is not completely finished. So like it shows like there's the head and then there's this body and then the tail. Um, but it, obviously it's missing the back legs and it's missing a neck too. So there's going to be more types of fossils to get. So it'll be the head, the neck, the body, and then the back of the body with the tail. Like that's one, two, three, four, five. That's five different pieces for one thing, which is awesome. Plus this just looks awesome that like the lights are shining up from below it, like spot on. And then there was another one off to the corner there. Um, here's Nook's Cranny, which is beautiful. I mean, you've got two small items here, which are like the desk items. And then you've got two big items, which there's going to be. Um, is there an area over here that we can look at? I'm, I don't think so. I think it's just for show. But then you've got like the register here, which I don't think that's for anything as well. But then over here is where you would get your saplings. You would get your bugs, uh, or sorry, you would get your flowers. You would get wallpaper. You would get um, carpet. And then you would get your, I'm guessing that's where you get your tools as well. Like, so instead of them being out on display, they're just right there. And then medicine. 
And I love, I, I just like how they are wearing Tom's like little uh, apron. So yeah, go ahead and same thing. Able Sisters have gotten a huge upgrade because now they've got, oh man. So they've got an area for, I'm guessing full outfits, an area for um, t-shirts, an area for bottoms or it looks like a skirt, shoes, sunglasses, hats, and then you also have stuff on the wall as well as here's full outfits, which I'm guessing will either be one of two things. This will either be where you get to display your stuff or this will be where they display their stuff. And this will be a random full outfit that you can buy like straight up or in pieces. Because if you look closely on here, it shows one, two, three. So it's one, two, three. And then here's some shoes, pants, whatever. And that's kind of like the different things that you can get. So you can get your little hat here and you know, your Shemog, which is awesome. If the Shemog is by itself and not just a shirt with a Shemog, I would love that. Um, and then you got stuff on the wall here, like different types of hats, as well as shirts. This actually looks like where you would put your designs up because these look very um, made by Nintendo right here. This looks like different patterns that you're able to hang up on display. Sure, they're not on display like they used to be where they would be out and about here, but it is still on display where you can show people your outfits and designs and they can still buy them. And it shows like it holds eight of them, which is also nice. And oh, and there's another cool thing here. It shows just the little photos here, like the, the little touch to detail. Like they have these different like little family photos. Like here's, there's, there's with a baby, a house, like on a beach. Like that looks like that's label, I'm guessing. So it's just like really cool. And then again, the campsite is where I'm guessing a random, uh, when you, so instead of now going to faraway lands and doing the whole, like go to an Island and find a villager there, you go to the campground and the campground will have a random villager show up maybe once a day or once a week or once every few days. And then you go in and you can talk to them and say, Hey, I want you to go ahead and, you know, be part of my, Oh my God. And then back to the museum and be part of my village, you know, or my town, my island. You have a beta fish, which again, I don't know if that was in previous areas. And there's a little fish over here. There's a, it looks like a pond smelt. Um, that looks like a big guy there. Maybe I'm, it looks kind of like a piranha, but not um, other small guys here. But like, this is the fish area, which isn't, and I have to say this, isn't where the big fish display is. So is there gonna be two separate areas for that? Like this is the fish area for normal fish. And then you go maybe back here and then that's where like the giant fish display is. Oh, this is just so beautiful. This is like the tank for all the small fish. And then like there was a walk down here with like another area. Here's like a butterfly garden, which I, I've never seen before, but like it looks like you can enter through here, through here. And then um, I'm guessing like you put flowers and stuff here because like it looks very empty right here, you know? This looks very empty and this looks very empty. So this looks like you can put maybe flowers that you find into here because these look very reminiscent of the winter flowers that you had. These look like the flowers that were around the island already. Here's some succulents. Um, and then over here, you got like a palm tree. Here's a, here's one of the ones that we saw from the other island um, with what looks like a weird, it looks like a duck or something. I don't know what that is. I maybe paused at the wrong moment. That's probably a butterfly. But there's like three butterflies here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are like a butterfly garden. So I'm guessing you will take your flowers and then eventually you can donate them to the, the museum to brighten it up and make sure that like your, your butterflies have a place to fly around maybe, or maybe you get to customize it. Which also means, does Blathers come back? Will he be in the beginning of it and say like, hey, what's up guys? Um, again, more of these flowers here. Do you get to customize all this or is this like pre-made? There's so many butterflies here. Like that's really cool. And then like another hanging plant here, another one here. You open this up here, see what we have today. Um, and again, that's just where you probably get your tools and your other things. You then have like a dressing room where you can go ahead and let's go back. Jesus, so quick. 
go into the dressing room and then you've got like your you've got a uh hakama i'm guessing that's a japanese thing with a crest you got your full dresses here that you can put on and that's the dress section the shirts shorts hats um glasses socks and shoes so it does not look like shimogs will be their own thing it looks like it's going to be just a t-shirt with a shimog um but still like that's a lot of different options here socks and shoes by themselves is a huge thing being able to put glasses on is awesome and hats so now we're on the headwear. So you have a kiwi hat, like all these different things. These look like they're like uh, girl bonnets, I'm guessing. So like you have like the little things on the sides of your head. Um, and then you've got like these like full hooded like things. I don't know. That's cool. You'll be able to see what you look like. I love this reaction here. He's like, seriously? <laughs> like his face is like, what? He's got his little like lollipop. And then this turns into a fully uh, paved area with an actual bulletin board, which has like the glass over it or the plastic and your flags here. And then instead of it being like a little rigid fucking thing, it's got like its little, um, it's got its little, uh, uh, whatever those are. Speakers, Jesus. And then you have like this whole area here. So now you can actually go in and talk to Tom and Tom I'm guessing will now be here and then Timmy and Tommy will take their residence in Nook's Cranny. Here you go talking about your home. You can expand, you can customize your home and you can relocate it. So you don't have to say I want my home here and then leave it there. You can actually put it somewhere later on. Customization. So we've got so far for customization, we have curtains, which you can put curtains in your windows, it looks like. Change to day or night to see what it looks like with lights on. Do roof tiling, and then it looks like only a mailbox. So those look like to be the only customization options right now, is th this, the mailbox, and then curtains. Which again is still nice because it's a lot more than we had when it came to the original game like all we had was a customized roof but now we have roof and the mailbox and different curtains and then here's for mailboxes you have ordinary mailboxes you have red square mailboxes um which is always nice so you can again customize that if you want it to look stand out or be whatever I would hope that you can change the way your house looks though. Like if you want it to be a brick house, if you want it to be, you know, a log cabin looking house, we might not get that. But then again, we also might, who knows, there might be more customization options once your house gets bigger. But then again, this looks like it's a fully upgraded house. So I don't know. Here is again, like this looks like a, this looks like a animal house and this looks like an animal house because they do not have the flowers next to it. And I think that's how you can differentiate um, the animals from the residents. Oh, I just saw them casting. So if you look over here, my head's probably in the way, but there's a animal that's gonna be casting a fishing rod right here. So there's that. Should the shop move here? So you can move the shop around, which is nice. And that looks like that's Nook's Cranny. Also. Here's Isabel. A lot of people are getting super excited about Isabel. Again, I only played City Folk and the original. So to me, Isabel is like, eh, all right. But like, I know a lot of people were freaking out about that. And they were like, oh my God, Isabel. But then it looks like she takes over the, once you've expanded the residence uh, area, instead of just a little microphone, maybe they do it over the intercom and then Isabel does it. This also looks like it's a different area from where you see her normally. See, cause she normally was over here and then she's over here. So it's like, will this be a cut scene that we get to see every morning then once this is upgraded and then she's sitting there or how's that gonna be? And then she says, let's talk about island avails. So you get to go ahead and I'm guessing that'll be like the evaluation of your island. Maybe that's the new HRA. Um, then you have the change the island tune, which is awesome because I always love changing the island tune around. But then again, I do like the do 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 Change the flag, discuss a resident, which I'm guessing is you can tell, you know, you can make residents leave, whether that be villagers or animals. But it's kind of interesting stuff. 
offer the utmost in services and advice regarding the overall environment of your island. So you're curious about the current image of Ninten. So I'm guessing since Tom was already talking about like buildings and stuff, maybe that is like a way to, I don't know, invite more people or something. But then you have label says I'm not sure I'm the fashion designer. Um, so I'm guessing this will be kind of like with Gracie and Red. Maybe they'll just be right here instead of like wandering about. I'm guessing Sahara and stuff will be all around the island. But um, well, it says like and then there's Harvey, and then there is Sahara or Celeste is right here outside of it. So this is also, I'm guessing that is the, the magic wand is the final tool that you have. Also, there's a foosball table, which is cool. Um, some mushroom chairs and stuff, and that's really cool. Um, house still looks the same with the wreath on the front though. So you can change what you want to look like immediately. So you have your overalls, you have a dress, you have the hero's robe, um, whatever that is, some few other things. So it's kind of cool. But Sahara is actually walking around, so that's nice. Um, you'd require none for, for your naked floor, yep. So she has wallpaper and flooring, so will Wendell not be there anymore? I don't know. Oh man, so here is Nook's Cranny, which is nice. You do have the new Joan, which is Daisy May, which I'm guessing is Joan's um, you know, daughter. And the only downside, I don't like the snot. Like that to me just looks so... I don't know, like, I, it, the whole thing is cute, but, like, I put my finger over it, and it looks even better, but, like, I don't like the snot, like, that's just me, it's just way too cartoonish, and I get it, we're in a video game about animals that talk, but it's, like, everything else about it, it's more, like, realistic, and then you have, like, this little thing running around with snot coming out, it's like, eh, come on. So, right now, turnips are going for 91 bells, do you want to buy some? Again, turnip peddler, awesome, I'm so glad that we have turnips again. Then there is Kix, who is there to get you some new shoes. Looks like he's got some like leather ones right there that are really nice. Um, here is also where you can get socks as well as apparently boots, sneakers, like that actually looks like cleats, um, clogs, socks, um, long socks, short socks, and then you've got like backpacks and uh, satchels. So that's always cool. And then we also have the spring uh, fishing tournament, which is awesome. But you have Chip Jr. instead of Chip. So it's CJ, who's Chip Jr. And then, as you can see here, all of them are fishing. Again, it doesn't, like, you don't see any bobbers. So I'm curious as to whether they actually will, like, capture fish or not. Or if they, again, will just cast and they just kind of sit there. We don't know, and no one, none of this footage shows them actually catching anything. I love how you have like a little life jacket too that you can put on. So it's kind of like if you fall into the water, it's like, oh, you're safe. Um, but that's always nice. And then also it looks like animals can wear different hats. That's really cool. Um, I don't know if that was in a thing before, but like animals wearing hats is awesome. Um, more animal houses, like this one's a white one. This one's like dark colored. Um, you can always tell the animal house because they have like the little thing that tells who it is. Um, we're not seeing anyone actually catch any fish here and then still there. Then we have this new person flick. I'm guessing that's a new person. Very edgy. They like catching bugs. Um, but that's still cool that there's like a now a bug event. Again, I don't remember if there is a bug event, but it's really cool that there is one in this one. So... So it says free updates. So that makes me think that, and especially when they say in a few seconds that the first update comes out the day of, and it's for the um, bunny day event, which makes me think that you're going to have to wait until let's say July or sorry, October for the Halloween event to get downloaded. So there will not be time traveling to get these items. You will not be able to time travel to December if you're in February to get the jingle set. You will have to get this update. And then I'm going to guess it's since it's an update, it'll introduce that character as well as all of the different items. And then I'm going to make a guess here. This is all theory. 
that after the event is done, it'll get rid of all of that. So you can't like come back to it, if you will, and then time travel. So like you won't get the bunny update and then go and do it in April and then it ends and then you're in May and then you time travel back to April to get the bunny event. I'm going to guess it's a limited time that it'll happen and then disappear. Yet you will still be able to have your furniture possibly clothes and different items from that update, but you will not be able to time travel back to it, which I'm super happy about because I hate the idea of people time traveling and breaking the game. The game is meant to start on the day that you buy it and keep going throughout the year and playing it inspecting the different events that come by. Oh, here comes Red. He sent me a letter and now I get to go ahead and, you know, go see his stuff on this date. I'm super excited for that. So I should probably set a reminder. There is Jingle coming in December. There is Jack coming in October. There is, you know, in Thanksgiving, New Year's. I think that's New Year's. Um, I don't really, yeah, that is New Year's. Um, but then all of these things will be coming in different amounts of the year and there will be an update that will do that and then again, wipe it out, I think. Um, so that'll be cool for me because I, again, I don't like it when people break the game and they're like, I want to get as many things as possible or I only want to get the jingle set. So then they go ahead and time travel and go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and they get all of it in like three days. And you're like, oh, that's cool. I would much rather have it, you know, come around Christmas time everyone is playing the game, you know, in December and they're like, oh my God, we need to play in December because we need to get the jingle furniture. We need to play in October so we can get the spooky furniture. And that'll also keep the the life of the game continuing more because of the fact that people are now waiting for these new events. So instead of, hey, March is here, I just bought the game and I've already gotten every piece of item that I can possibly get and it's only July because I've time traveled for a few months and now I've got every single piece of furniture and now there's really nothing to do in the game. Instead, it's like, hey, the game just came out. I can't wait for, you know, j j December to roll around because of Christmas. Oh boy. And now you're waiting like a little kid waiting for Christmas because you're literally waiting for Christmas. But it's like, and then it gives you that opportunity to say to yourself like, wow, like there is so much to do and I have to wait for it. So that's nice to me. Um, but also since it's a free update, it makes me think that there's a lot that they're going to put into it. Maybe more events. Maybe the island is going to be decorated more with certain things. Um, it can't just be like they add the character and then get rid of it. Like I feel like there's going to be more to each of these bunny day things and there's probably going to be certain outfits and stuff, but who knows? Starting over on a deserted island. Again, bucket. Oh, and look, here is a folding shovel. That is something we haven't seen yet. We've seen the flimsy shovel, and then now here is a new shovel. Um, it looks like it's a folding trench shovel, which is nice because I would like that. And this bucket is filled with water. Um, will it be dripping into the bucket? No, you don't see it, but whatever. A lot of the weeds, I love the weeds in this game. It just makes it, it gives it, it, gives it character, you know, instead of it just being a flat surface it's like it gives a character okay houses next to each other this looks like these are animal houses um this it has like a certain like he's got a fish up here they've got a wreath here um this person obviously has given them a different yard like they've separated the houses and given them certain things um toolbox a little holder here a watering can is sitting down also it looks like a golden shovel right there so that could be the golden shovel, or that could just be a yellow shovel. Maybe we get to customize those. But here it um, there is a like a bird bath or a fountain or something um, that looks like tangy or someone. No, it's definitely not tangy. And then you can you know obviously pole vault over. There's another resident right here with oh there was something else I didn't see. Um, let's go back really quick. So there's there and then. There's like a fountain and that was it. Okay, cool. And then there's like the upper floor here, which what is going on here? Oh yeah, and then he's got like a fanny pack over his back. They're doing some morning aerobics and you can use a ladder to get up. Oh my God, like that is so cool. Especially in the early parts of the game when it's like, you know, you may not have a ramp because so far I don't think we've seen a ramp so far. So it looks like the only way to get up to this upper level will be to use this. 
And since there's no bridges, it looks like you're going to have to make a vaulting pole. So it's the game looks like it's going to slowly be um, adding a... It's going to slowly be adding more things to the game where you'll have to keep um, progressing slowly. And then you're going to see that you have, let's say... In the very beginning, you have that your deserted island. You're going to have to create the, the pole to pole vault to get over the river because there will be no way to do it unless you go completely around. You'll have to create a ladder to climb up to the second area because there will be no stairs, no ramp. So then slowly but surely, the game is progressing in an arc to like all these new things you can get. There is a hose over here. There is some smoke coming out of the chimney. So that'll probably be the way that you can see that animals are in their house when um, you are during the day. Because before, like you could not really see that they were there. Again, this is coming from original Animal Crossing. So there was no smoke coming out. You just made a guess if they were there or not. There is also like a hose, there's a bucket, a little barrel, there's like a little campfire here, a tiki torch, some, again, all these cool items. Um, toolbox laying here, that looks like a, like maybe another furnace. Oh no, that's a log holder, it looks like. Oh no, that's a, that's a bee, that's a beehive uh, holder thing. Interesting. Um... This is the construction consultation. So, oh my God. So you go and talk to Tom Nook when you want to do this. 129,000 bells for a suspension bridge. You have also a log bridge, which is 98, but then you progressively go up to like 200,000 bells. This makes me so happy that it's not just like a 20,000 bells and you've got a new like whatever. It's like you actually have to spend the time to get your to get your bells up and then it's like, do I want a new bridge? Where do I put the bridge? Oh, if I want multiples of that bridge, it's going to be 200,000 bells each time you want a bridge, which again, to me is super exciting because it's not going to be, you know, in the original Animal Crossing, you got your first bridge by Tortimer. I think you get it for free or it was maybe 300,000 bells or 30,000, but it was one bridge and that was it. And then like you upgrade your house and then that was it. And then there was kind of like this like end game where you just finished, you know? And it was maybe a few hundred thousand bells and that was it. But now it's like you have to pay for the museum. You're gonna have to pay for Able Sisters. You're gonna have to pay for the bridge. Maybe, obviously your own house. You're gonna have to pay for the different animal residence houses, I'm guessing. And it's just like so many bells are gonna be used in this game and that really excites me. Stone bridge looks sweet. Like suspension bridge obviously is gonna be a, a rickety bridge. However, if you want your island to look like that, there's your suspension bridge. You know, it'll look kind of cool. And you have a stone bridge, you have a regular wooden bridge. Like this is just, it's getting out of hand. Like how in depth this is. Then you got a brick bridge so you can have it more like sophisticated looking. Then you're gonna have an iron bridge. It doesn't show the iron bridge, but what does that look like? And that's going to be so cool. Maybe like a railing on the side, like, oh, it looks so sweet. And then you've got a natural ramp. So these are now ramps that you can go ahead and put into your town to get from one area to the other. So you have your natural ramp, like it is, which is, it's going to look natural, you know, but it has like some stones there blue plank so it kind of has like a you know you have like blue or white so you're gonna have like a cool little looking like i don't know it, it, again whatever you want to design it for maybe later you can change the color i don't know or maybe it's just going to be blue and white then you have your log staircase which is again if you want it more of like a rustic kind of island where you have log cabins everywhere you might have this log staircase a stone staircase they don't show it but it like it probably looks really sweet um, you then have your, uh, stone, you have brick, which will probably match the brick, um, whatever. Then you have blue steel staircase and a red steel staircase. So again, like so many customization options that you can go ahead and do depending on what you want your island to look like. Then it shows them running past everything. We've already seen the, um, this area here, but he pole vaulted over before. So now he is running across the bridge. There is a fishing rod here. So this is a different fishing rod. It looks like maybe that might be the normal one because it's kind of like black looking and maybe like there's a different type of bobber on it. There's that person's house. And then here's, so there's a stone bridge and a suspension bridge. 
Um, so that's really cool. And that's a huge flower garden, which is really cool looking. And then a little like uh, the whatever that sign's called, like the directional signs. Without relying on then here is a the wood the 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 log staircase so that's cool and I like how it shows they someone put this also looks like that is a it is rotated at a 45 degree angle and not just up and left and right so that would actually be really cool if that was a thing since you also as you'll see later can terraform in diagonals maybe you can also rotate this in diagonals like vaulting poles and um, now you're instead of using the ladder to get up here you can just walk up here that animal has a popsicle. And. Oh man, Able Sisters in the background. You got some of these, uh, the these things. Now, again, here we go. Now we have nine apps here, as well as another page. So we have the camera, we have Nook Miles, we have your bug and fish, we have your um, DIY, um, you have your shopping, which I think it, they go over it and it shows you. You have your map, you have your passport. On the other page is rescue services. And then you have right here your construction, which is going to go to in a second. Nook shopping will, I guess, be like when you say you want to go ahead and order from your catalog, but now it's from your phone. So that'll be kind of cool. Should I start up the Island Designer app and do some construction work? So to me, this means that it's not just a like you have an item for it you have to go into this app and then now you're in full like create mode instead of like a you know like you have an axe and you chop down a tree this is like you have a specific item to do that plus there's like a flower cart over here it looks kind of cool and a ladybug ladybug flu there's also a log holder but then this is kind of cool that whole outfit and then so you do this you can do regular grass dirt stone brick and then sand it looks like plus maybe one two three four others that you can put there as well as custom you can use it to freely pave your own paths so that's really awesome like and also it's really cool that it's showing like this same town slowly progressing up and there is a different outfit remember we said it was a green dress now is a blue like full overalls it looks like or a blue whatever with like a, a, a bow tie so maybe that'll change daily and it'll just like look really cool. So we can only hope like they will do that daily and you're like, oh, because then it'll just add that little bit of flavor to the game where you're like walking past it and suddenly it looks different as opposed to every single day it looks the same. Um, you could also stack uh, bugs on top of fish tanks, it looks like. And then there is another fishing rod here with a what looks like a yellow ducky. <laughs> so there is like a fishing rod with a yellow ducky bobber and like a little... Uh, thing like another piece of furniture like a little child cart uh push tricycle thing oh this is awesome and then there yeah it's a tricycle here's a bicycle will we be able to use bikes or is it just you can sit it there there is also when you do sand you can make it so it's a corner and then you round it out so like that's just really cool to be able to make like a little what looks like a little area for like people to play in again it's all just customization so it's it's just the fact that you're able to like put these things there and make it look very unique, you know, like you're able to put a pathway down and then this is just like a little sandbox for a random set of kids. There are no kids in the game, but who knows? You might want a, just a little like park area, you know, where you'll fence off the area with like metal, uh, metal fences, put some, you know, like a, a sandbox, maybe some trees in there. That's a catfish it looks like, and that's a butterfly. Um... But then, like, that's just really cool little things that you can put down. This person's sitting on a bench. Like, I love that. The only downside I see is these are not connected. And that kind of irks me because it's like, this is a whole, like, thing. They're all connected. Why are these two not connected? Or can you make it so they don't connect? I don't know. This is connected to this. So this is connected to this but will patterns not be able to connect to each other so that brick and that stone will not be together but the brick and the stone of this pathway and the bridge can i don't know but then this just keeps getting better because now you've got water forming and terraforming waterscaping and cliff construction oh boy so he just puts down this puts down that um, and there was actually something in the corner I just saw. I missed it. Right here. Right there, yeah. You can... Oh, it's to add more. 
So you can do that, and then you can do that to you do it a second time in that uh, what do you call it? Diagonally, it diagonals it. And then you could break cliffs, which is just awesome. So like, if you don't like the way something was formed in your town, you can go and do that. Jump over small areas, which is actually really cool. Because um, I'm guessing small areas that are too wide, you'll be able to just jump over. If it's three wide, you might need the vaulting pole. Or maybe later on, you just don't need the vaulting pole anymore. I don't know. Um, but then you, obviously, you can put a staircase down so you get up to here. And then make your own. <laughs> I'm guessing if a, if a waterway goes up to here, then it will make a waterfall. And then that way you can go ahead and actually create a entire waterfall uh, part here. This animal looks like it's just looking at some flowers with a popsicle. This animal is sweeping, which is awesome. There are like little areas here. Again, now there's, so there's, this area does not connect to the stairs, but it connects to the, the bridge. So it's, again, it's a little weird. I don't know. It's a little weird. I feel like this should be connecting to that, but who knows? Um, again, they might fix it in like a hot update or if people complain about it enough. But again, to me, that just doesn't sit right. Like, I, I'm not a fan of that. But again, that couldn't just be just me and I couldn't just be picking at straws. Um, but like, uh, that needs to be fixed. Awesome. And then you create your own waterfall. I love that they like are doing chores around the island, yeah. you know. And then this is like the, the uh, stone bridge here or brick bridge. Now this, again, this doesn't connect, but again, this is like a weird angle, so it's fine. That's really cool. There is a way to display all of your fish, it looks like, outside. Like if you want to display a bunch of them, it kind of looks like. So that's kind of cool. There's a workbench, there's a flimsy shovel, um, some bugs that are sitting out here, and like a fish that's sitting out there laying down it's just really cool that you can do that like you can put sunglasses on and a little uh like bathing suit and just sit out there and here's another flimsy rod and again that's just a really cool thing that maybe you can put multiple fish out on there or maybe it's just a fish display that is only done once As you've seen today, the deserted island. um a picnic basket they're drinking juice while sitting down there's like a little duck thing there a light a boom box a tool chest it looks like a little candle um, these, the, the lighting in this is just so beautiful. Lighting a bonfire. Um, this little thing right there, don't know what that is, but it looks like you can gather flowers in it, maybe? There's like a way to, that looks like another way to gather bugs. Um, obviously you can pick up, uh, pick up trees if you have fruit that you've eaten. So there is that. The, again, the slingshot does make a comeback so you can shoot, uh, things out of the air. Here's another type of house. It's another new one. Here's another new house. There are now brick walls that you can put up. So that's always really cool to see that you can put brick walls up as well as like stone, iron, and uh, wood. Animals talking. There's pear trees. Here's a fountain, which I'm guessing it's more than just... Um, it's more than just either it's going to be a fountain, which is just this and you can put it wherever, or this is going to be the wishing well. Who knows where maybe you have to like throw a quarter over your, maybe one bell over your shoulder and you get a wish or it'll tell you how your town is. But I also think they may have took the wishing well away and replaced it with Isabel giving you the town evaluation. And then that'll say like, oh, you have, you know, a few weeds or too many trees in an area or whatever. Garbage can. There's like a cool little like, looks like a puppet uh, show kind of house. House here, house there, house here. It's just going to be so awesome to be able to make these like little suburbs, I guess you can say, where like this is like a town. This is a town. Like in the original Animal Crossing, everyone was so like spread out. City folk gave you paths, but it wasn't like the same because they were still just so random. Now you've got like the ability to have animals in these like cool quaint little towns where people are like you know they can live right next to each other and you can put stuff in front of their houses and then they like walk over here and they're more inclined to like engage with each other and like talk to each other and stuff so that's always cool because you i love watching the animals engage and you know talk laugh change outfits like you know oh hey like so and so talk to so and so and now they're wearing a green shirt like that's really cool over in the very back here it looks like there is a um a wooden uh, a wooden like lattice type 
fence instead of like a normal um, one that we've seen so far. I could be wrong on that, but it kind of looks a little different as well as actually this might be the museum because there's like these like there's like a plant in front of it, but it could also be a different house that just has that in front of it or you can put that down. Also, those look like some new flowers and I've told you how there's so many flowers in this game, but that looks like a new one. There's also a house over in the uh, background over here. Oh man, where to begin with this? Holy crap, like the <sighs> new flowers. Yay! I knew someone was going to say that. There's like a band area up here, which it looks like these are just items that you've placed down because this animal is just like watering these flowers. There's a, a vending machine here, or a jukebox here. He's sitting down with some cola. Um, this is a table with some uh, uh, coffee mug. Um, it looks like this is the top of right below here. Yeah, you can see that. There is a top of, it looks like, something i don't know what that is it could be a you know like able sisters or something but there is the resident area oh no this is the um uh, airport sorry the airport's right here so like this looks like someone built it so when you arrive there's like this little like lobby area it kind of looks like which is actually really cool yeah and here's that lattice looking um fence here's the resident area this has like four birds on it so maybe that indicates your level of like I'm, I'm grasping at straws here maybe this indicates like the level of prosperity in your town if everything is like really pretty and done right maybe there's more birds that'll land there or maybe that is the amount of upgrades that they've done to it or something um but it's really cool that this person's looking at that there's like four animals in this shot right here which is always cool um and then they put some stairs here it looks like they might have terraformed this right here um, because like that's really close to the, the airport, but again, who knows that looked like a little, f that's a black rose. It looks like that's sitting on a table. So that could also mean that there is a pollinization of flowers. So who knows? But again, I'm just grasping at things, a little violin, another plant here that looks like just a furniture plant. And then here's some flowers, um, gas thing. That looks like a cotton candy maker. Oh, it is a cotton candy maker. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Go back just one second. Oh, it's just so beautiful. This is like a bunch of chairs and area. They made like a little uh, dining area, which is kind of cool. Here's like a whole area that you can, this is a house. So, but it, since there is no area over here, I'm guessing this is one of the side areas, but it could also be like, this is the, where you walk in, but this is like just a really cool oriental set. Um, you can push chairs in, obviously, like the dividers. Um, looks like that's a turtle, and that looks like a crab. So those are, like, there's different animal holding facilities as well. Again, straight from the original and city folk, so different holding facilities for different animals would be really sweet to see. So it looks like that's the case, as well as, you know, like, when you have certain butterflies and bugs that are going to be in different cages. Um, but here's, like, a full set, it looks like, um, which is awesome. These look like the these are areas that you can put down like unless this is the actual rug this might be an area where you can put down certain um floor patterns in this area because it looks like it's one two three four five six seven eight so this is like an eight by eight area so that's one two three four five six seven yeah eight it's like an eight by eight area maybe you could put rugs down who knows unless that's the way it looks it's so cool that you can actually put oh yeah here's stone like areas, there's a uh, 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 trilobite, I think. Not trilobite, that's a, it's like the Kabuto of Pokemon, but I forget what it's called, it's something. But then there are these lights that you can put into the ground, it looks like. I have now been talking for over two hours and 40 minutes about this game, holy crap. There are um, dinosaur bones that you can put outside, which is always awesome that you can display that on your island. Because again, full customization. There is a stone wall you can put around things. Again, full customization is really awesome. A power pole. I love that because if you want your island to be more industrial with like iron like things, you can put like little power poles around. Like that's really cool. Um, bookshelves, lava lamps, like here's a bunch of fish ways that you can put on here, like different fish have all these different things in them instead of just being a blank area. Like he's got a little rock there and some things with like a, it actually has like a little filter. So like it's an actual fish tank instead of just a holding container. Um, a little frog there, um, a little guy there, a big fish here that looks like a string fish, uh, largemouth bass. 
Um, we are now in winter, it looks like, and there's some snow on the things. It looks like there's still going to be uh, icy leaves. Here's another different type of flower. So not only do we have these, which obviously we've seen come from a different island, but we do also have these little flowers here. So that is also incredible. There's a mailbox there. So this is a resident's house. Um, there's like little lamps here, like a manhole cover. You can drop your thing there. This shows that you can have your different pathways there. Um, but that's really cool and it's covered in snow. Also, what is this? It's a Nook radar dish. That does not look like something you can build. That looks like something that is part of the game. So is that resident services? Because this looks like it is resident services or it is um, the museum or something. But right here, there's a Nook satellite dish. What is that and what does that mean? Also, I love that you can put like a fence up to separate the... Um, separate the, the beach from the town. Terraforming, so here's terraforming. Oh, and there's also, it looks like a, a gravestone. It's a little morbid, but it looks like there's a gravestone there. <laughs> so that's kind of just a cool thing, again, for um, the ability to put down like whatever you want. Maybe this is an Easter egg and like this is not something you can build, but it's for like Tortimer maybe, because like Tortimer was old in the first game. So maybe that's his like headstone there. Um, there looks like, um, again, there is the pathways here, but then there is also this upper path here, this upper area. So again, will we have three areas or is it only two? I don't know. But then there's like this back area here, which has a secret like, um, it looks like a secret uh, area, like a secret beach back here. What's the point of it? I don't know, but it is just kind of cool that it's got a secret beach. Birthday parties? Oh my god. Like it, it, the thought that like when your birthday rolls around, you'll have animal residents that'll like be like, hey, happy birthday. And you're like, what? No way. Like that's really cool. Plus it looks like there are streamers and stuff that are set up in here. Um, they have like little noisemakers. There's a birthday cake, little balloons and stuff. Um, and then also they will surprise you when you walk in. So like you walk in and then they'll be like, happy birthday. And so far there's only three residents, but we know that there's a max of five so far. So maybe there's 10, maybe you can fill this whole place with them, but it might be a little crowded. Maybe it's only select residents. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, there's a lot of things that are there. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just, it is a lot of things going on. And then they can also wear flowers on their heads. They can wear sunglasses. Like they can have different uh, customization options of shirts. We've got like a little, that looks like a little, maybe a fossil there, some flowers. Uh, there's a power pole here. There's looks like an interesting hat, like a Guy Harvey hat. It kind of looks like. Uh, here's a person's house because the mailbox. There's an animal house, animal house. Um, you can obviously put dirt down so you can put flowers in it, which is a kind of a cool touch. Um, running around, you got like these different, it's so much customization. I love it. Here is like a way to just put stuff up on a second level. And there's like a string for like museums here. Able Sisters now has a, another different one right here. So there is now a, just a shirt with like that. Um, and that looks like a, maybe a sandbox. Here is like a jungle gym set up. You can now move the lighthouse or probably just build it. Like that is so awesome. And then this part of the museum, like there is more to the museum. There's more to it. We thought that there was like the, the fish area and then there's the big fish area and then the, the butterfly display. But now there's a giant holding tank and your animals can go in it and look at the fish. Ah! God, I've been asking for this for so long. I love the idea of that. And again, I'm coming from the original Animal Crossing, so I don't know if that's in other games, but the fact that they're like observing the fish at the museum is so awesome. It's so cool. I love it. I really do love to love it. Um, and then there's a giant fish there. Like that's a huge fish. There are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven residents here so far and then Tom, and then the uh, person. So there's seven so far, but is that the max you can have? Or will you be able to fill out maybe eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? You know, maybe there's like, 
I don't know, like how many animals can you have? And they haven't told us that yet. And then um, here's another animal house here. There's a animal house here. Like here's now a bunch of people. There's like a bunch of cool things. There's a different type of uh, 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 stone wall here. There's like a candy store, candy uh, dispenser. Some other things, there's different wood walls here, um, wood flooring here, like just so many cool things. There's a weird like blue shell here. Oh, it looks like a hot tub. A giant fish, that giant fish is crazy. Like, and just the amount of detail put in the fish, you know. Um, There's now part three, which is the FAQs, which we already knew about. Like, how many people can... We we knew that you can have eight people on the island. Like, I don't get that. Um, Doing your name. Like, okay. So now there is, again, more items here. There's, like, a bike there. There is, again, here's some flowers here. Like, here it shows the them being already picked and them being watered. Again, the fruit bowl is awesome. Uh, that, I'm guessing that's an autumn type thing. This is a cool little welcome sign. I would love that. Um, the little bell, like when you come out of the door is a really cool feature. That's a interesting, like, so here's, and now, now we have noticed now there is a second floor. So maybe that is the final one. And then here is no longer that side of the bush. So the bush is gone, but there's now a second floor. So now if we think about this, you've got the interior, you got one, two, three rooms, and then you got an upstairs. Like, is that correct? Am I getting that correct? Or was it one of those rooms that you go off to will be upstairs and one's a basement? Will you still have a basement? But now we have confirmed that upstairs is a thing. This must be the biggest way you can make your house with uh, different things here. And maybe a different door and paint patterns for the walls because this one is now white with black. And before it was like, you know, there was like, uh, these were lighter wood. So maybe you can customize that. We know about Amiibo. I'm not going to get into that. It's just, this feels like cheating to me where you're able to be like, oh, I want, you know, uh, Bill to be part of my island. So then you go ahead and immediately get Bill on your island. It's like, I guess. But the cool part was getting the random amount of animals that would come to your island. And I felt like that was really cool. Um, You do your Amiibo there. You go to the campsite and then that, that's where you'll find that person. Um, nothing new here. Maybe with a water cooler. And then she's like, hey, I'm here. And then like, thanks for inviting me. And then you can invite her in. She had a sandwich in her hand. Here's another new set of, uh, of things that are, uh, what, oh my God. Uh, fences. And here's another fence there. And then this is kind of a cool feature just for people that want to set up scenes, I guess. And I guess that's only with amiibos. So that's an interesting thing. Um, you can set up what looks like a play and like put those different people in one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six. I don't know, but there were like one, two, there were a bunch of seats. So there's one, two, three, four, let's wait. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So maybe there's 12, uh, residents. Place models with different headwear and glasses and outfits. Again, not a feature I would use. You can make them emote. You can have them all look at you. You can, I guess, change the person that you want to be stuck on. Um, just an interesting feature in case you're interested in that. Yeah, now they're crying and that's kind of cool. And then DJ KK, it says they, they want to do additional characters, which DJ KK is not there right now. So there's that, but it's just an interesting thing. Um, invite all your friends or make a code, which is actually really cool. So you can invite everyone from your friends list. You can also do a, a temporary code. So that's really cool. Um, you got that little bunny hat thing. Um, whatever it is, frog hat. Axes and shovels are not allowed, which is awesome because I would hate for people to come over and grief your island and just be like, I'm going to chop down all your trees. And you're like, come on, dude, really? Um, you can only do it when you're on a best friend island, which is awesome. It's really cool. You can also, it looks like remove or register. So you can like probably, 
remove friends from your island or add friends to your island? You know, best friends? More flowers here. Best friends. Here's your best friends list. Says they're all, when they're active, um, this is their town name. Ninten, Pepper, Smile, Maple. These are their names. Send to all. Um, show if you're online, it looks like, or show if you're offline, which is kind of cool in case you just want to play by yourself. If you want to refresh. Um, this is a weird, interesting thing because it shows like best friends, but then there's also one, two, three, four, five. There's like five different other tabs. So what is that? Can you use these tools? It's no problem. Um, there's that. The tree just killed that woman. What if I lose my save data? I mean, again, there's no cloud backup, but they did make it so that way you can go ahead and actually, you can recover your save data if your switch gets lost, stolen, broken. So that's kind of cool. That'll be eventual sometime after launch is cool. What are the special theme system? These are FAQs we already knew about besides the save data, you know? Free updates, of course there'll be free day updates after launch, um, which they're talking about. The first one is going to be on the day of launch, and that'll be Bunny Day, and it says special event in April, okay? So it's not just the person shows up, but there probably will be an egg contest. So that makes me think that they're going to add actual events, plural, to the game. So instead of Bunny Day, where you just run into them and do whatever, it's probably going to be like... You do this, and there's like an egg collecting contest, which there already was, but it's like you might be able to do other things, and I don't know. Also, we're planning to roll out a special offer for both Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Animal Crossing New Horizons. So now these look like all Pocket Camp items, like the van and the camp and that thing, but it's like... Horizons, through which players can receive special items in each. So you can receive special items in each. So this is Pocket Camp stuff where you get all the Nook stuff. I'm guessing if you like link your accounts together, you can go ahead and do that. So there might be a thing to do that. Um, I didn't. I don't play Pocket Camp much, so I don't know. And then, yeah, that's it. They're gonna do on the Animal Crossing, uh, whatever. But yeah, that's been everything. And that's I went through three hours of this game, and it's coming out on the twentieth, which is about a month away. Super excited about it, and I hope you guys are excited as excited as I am too. Because I, like I said, I tried to nitpick the crap out of that game, the trailer that we had 27 minutes on, and I went three hours of it. So that's my entire day lost. I need to actually get into accomplishing things. But yeah, so if you guys have any other things that you saw that I didn't, or you want to correct me on things, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.